Okay, greetings friends. Welcome to the channel. My name is Vormithrax, and uh, we're playing some more Night of the Dead. Uh, another restart, so this time because I'm playing multiplayer. So I have a multiplayer server set up. Uh, my friend Makem has joined me currently. We might have uh, some other folks join in at some point that are uh, friends of the channel, members of the community. Um, we might not, because this is kind of impromptu. But uh, Makem and I are going to run through and uh, do some stuff. So I gave him a brief tour of the game just a little bit earlier off camera. And um, so he's mostly caught up to speed on the early basic gameplay stuff. But there'll probably be questions we'll, we'll, we'll cover. If you have any questions, just ask in chat, of course. Happy to answer any questions you might have. If I know, uh, I still relatively new to the game myself. But uh, I think this game will be a lot more fun with uh, a group of players. So it will be a, a hoot to uh, have huge hordes and the base defense and, and all that kind of stuff. So looking forward to it. Hey there, murder. Yeah, I got, I got my favorite pack mule farmer, buddy. <laughs> my, my, my autonomous bot, make him, is now in the game to uh, do all the boring stuff for me. Let me hop over back into Discord so he can hear me badmouth him. All right, now, now he can hear me talk bad about him. Um, let me, uh, let me start playing game. Gotta grab the radio before I grab the flashlight. This is not a fresh human meat store, Mr. Zombie. I'm busy. So shuffle off to another store. A person? Are you currently in the underground capsule room on Andorna Island? Sleep capsules can sometimes cause trouble. I'm Dr. Veronica Grimes. I'm researching a zombie cure. Is there even power in the bunker now? Find a light immediately and secure the line of sight. I I have a proposal for you. Please, find the remaining mutant substance on Andorna Island. That material will be invaluable in my research for a zombie cure. Succeed, and I'll send a helicopter for your rescue. Make sure to record important things in your journal. The bunker you're in is the research facility where the new humanity project was conducted. Check if there's still someone in the bunker who can help you find the mutant substance. Find We should head to the research center that Walter mentioned. Okay, so coming out of the bunker. I hope you won't disappoint. Oh, you're they, alive. They put us in different locations again? Before you even oh, think we're not partied up yet. Substance. Understood? I've assembled the best team of experts for assistance. Learn by carefully following their instructions. Oh, we're pretty close this time. Nice to meet you. My name it's is Sienna Wilder, a survival right expert. From now on, I'll share all the survival knowledge I know with you. Let's start by loosening up your body. There are numerous resources required for survival. How about picking up noticeable small stones in the forest?
There are no stones anywhere near me. There's one, finally. Great. Now it's time to use that small stone to make a stone knife. Now, shall we gather some branches and leaves? Well, if you find me, you, I'll hench my Equip stones. The stone knife you made, and when you cut the bushes, nah, I'm good. you should be able to get the materials you need. As the next step, we'll be crafting other tools necessary for survival. Shall we start by making an axe? Now let's gather some wood together. Trees are truly vital resources. They provide various materials essential for survival. Now it's time to gather stones and minerals. With a pickaxe, the gathering will be much smoother. Now let's use our crafted pickaxe to gather stones and minerals. If you look around carefully, you'll see plenty of rocks. By breaking those rocks, you can easily obtain stones. Shall we also look for ore? Ore is slightly shiny compared to regular rocks. Look for rocks with a black shine to find it. up to building the workbench. Ever wake up on a zombie island and feel like you're left alone? 
I'm Jamal Price, the mechanic. There are plenty of ways to get stronger. Crafting some high-end gear, upgrading what you've got, or advancing through tech research. So, let's kick things off with that. Just set it up wherever, no need to overthink Are mushrooms this one. safe to eat raw for food? When you click on one, it'll tell you in the info screen what the consequences are going to be. Okay. Or just highlight it. It'll say K cows, chance of severe food poisoning, or chance of, uh, what is the other one? Mild indigestion. They're not worth much just eating by themselves. Okay. Uh oh, zombie. Two zombies. The crafting bench is pretty handy, you know. Great for making and breaking down gear. All right, for starters, how about we whip up a pipe on that bench? I got your back. I'm more of an up-close and personal kind of guy, but you... Looks like you could use some long-range firepower. Try crafting a bow at the bench. You can't just have a bow and no arrows, right? You'll need some arrows. Equip that bow of yours and shoot an arrow towards our lovely crafting bench. If the arrow sticks into the bench, you can pull it out and use it again. So, where to next? Oh, wait a sec. Don't just leave that crafting bench behind. That's a waste of good resources. To dismantle it, you'll need a hammer. Once you've got that hammer equipped, there's a bunch you can do with it. Hold that hammer and give our worn-out crafting bench some TLC. Equip that hammer and head over to the crafting bench to start the dismantling. You'll recover some of the materials you used on it, so it's all good. Listen up, soldier. I am Captain Axton Hawkins. Obey my commands and learn the skills to survive on the battlefield. As you advance along the front lines, you'll inevitably face the zombies. When the time arrives, utilize the skills you've acquired to strike and evade at the appropriate times. <clears throat> Safely defeat the zombies. Got it? Oh yeah, we are close together. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> Level up. Okay. Chopped, uh, chopped an iron rock, and uh, there's a barn, I don't know, 30 feet away, and four zombies activated inside the barn, <laughs> and they're all standing now by the iron. I yeah, ran away. I ran away immediately, and they didn't see me, apparently. So, they heard the noise and went a-running. Good to know. I guess that's good.
I'm working on a mass of trees trying to get five, so. I'm just kind of moving down the road, gathering stuff, doing things here and there. Okay, let's see. If I turn west toward you. That way. We're at hour 12. Yeah, we're fine. Stabbing attacks are effective in narrow combat areas like inside buildings. Equip a melee weapon, aim at the enemy, then attack with a stab. Be careful when using a blunt weapon like a knife, as the stabbing damage is weak. Ah, greetings. The name's Gilbert Foster. I've been assigned to guide you in building your survival base. A survival base isn't just a refuge. It can be the heart of various crafting activities. And it all starts with a solid foundation. Out of road. What are you saying? You need a road? <laughs> Kick those mushrooms. Yeah. 
Well, it seems you're fairly prepared now. With this level of readiness, you stand a fighting chance while searching for the mutant substance. Let's move to the research center Walter mentioned. Open the map to check your location and start moving. And I'm picking up a pile of iron. You must have noticed your satiety depleting. As your satiety decreases, your maximum health and stamina also shrink, putting you at a disadvantage for survival. Huh. To restore satiety, you need to eat. Yo, don't you think it's about time to start your fitness journey? How about starting with some simple bodyweight exercises? Oh, and I've heard there's a book filled with top tips for bodyweight exercises in the nearby factory. Right, I see you in my head right now. Just up on the heel above you, doing some more iron. Yeah, we can't have too much iron. Iron and branches. Those will be the bane of our existence for a while. Over on the oh, you're hitting that other rock. is ah didn't get the second shot off all right it's time to get moving i'm here flashlight when moving in dark areas zombies right, right. and in but front a of you. flashlight alone might not illuminate the surroundings enough in such cases try equipping a torch Got a piggy up on the hill yes first time I've seen a piggy Deer. Hmm. 
Are you shooting at the pig or the deer? Mm -hmm. uh, shooting at the deer. I need an uphill of the pig. Grilled pork feet? I remember trying it once when I traveled in the city. It was much more delicious than I expected. Good now year. that the world has turned out this way, I sometimes miss that taste. <sighs> Even the hides of big animals. If you uh, step into moving. the kiosk, they've got yep. loads of okay, those I'm hides. Great quality at a reasonable price, you know. five. Yeah, Buckland, we, uh, this is a co-op game, so we started a fresh, fresh game. Yeah, I'm a gimp, so he's got a power level me. All right, there's the lab. Have you arrived at the research oh, center? we were that close. Check the experiment. Yeah, we got better start places floor. this time. Let's see if Walter's words are true. Uh, there's been lots of games that have released DLCs for early access. All the DLCs in this game are cosmetic, so, I mean, if you want to support the dev by buying cosmetic stuff, go for it. All right, um, I'm going to go around as much as I can the lab and try to get to the spot where we set up a base. We will have to fight a few guys here, and it might cascade. We got one guy to our right over there. How about we drive that guy straight ahead? You exploded him. Oh, crawler. Careful. Guy coming down the hill to your right. Or left. He's behind you. Behind you. Turn around. <laughs> Not a crawler. The guy I'm fighting is a crawler. <laughs> we'll just play kick games. Oh, you said crawler, and I saw this guy, so that's what I'm headed toward. Trying to get this deer. Hey, there he goes. Those guys, uh, they detect from quite a ways away. with a simple dish that even beginners can easily make? Let's begin with a simple mushroom and fruit saute. All right, chop trees down when you get a bunch of logs so we can get the initial platforms up. Um, I want to set the little base area up kind of back here, and then we'll put the fighting area closer towards the, uh, the laboratory. Oh. 
I didn't get a fancy yellow axe this time. I only got a blue one. Yeah, I got a blue axe too. And a blue uh, pipe. Hey there, radar. Gonna jump in? Radar. All right, just make sure you're in in uh, just under two hours. That's when the horde night will happen. <laughs> because I knew we were going to do multi, I bumped the, uh, the horde quantity to 400. But we'll save a few for you. Make him dropping trees on me again. Dude's coming at me. <laughs> oh, that's one of the male deer. Yeah, I had one of those charge me the other day. The other day? This morning on when we were... An hour ago? <laughs> yes. When you were teaching me how to play. Oh, All right. Oh, um, They're super what do we need? Uh, how many logs is good? If you swing by A lot of logs. Are, that's how many we need. Okay, what am I supposed to be doing with the logs once I have them? Uh, hold on to them. Just keep chopping. Okay. Let's let your inventory's full. to building foundations. How about expanding the foundation further? First, as before, select the foundation in the construction window and build. Then, when you can see the blueprint of the foundation, turn on the snap function during construction. Well, I ran out of parts. Ran out of parts for what? 
Building foundations. Gotta go get more trees. Am I supposed to be building foundations and putting them next to yours? Uh, there's only two more to place for the initial foundation setup. All right. Uh, I'm curious. Can you see? That you, you see just dropped some intestines. All right, cool. I don't know if there's a player to player transfer. I don't. I can't interact directly. There's no buttons that are popping up when we're near each other. I guess we'll have to do it through boxes or dropping stuff. Yeah, I bet that's probably the. So go ahead and fill in the two foundation pieces I missed in the corner back there. I think this will be big enough. Actually, this Build. is. After people disappeared, animals roam the streets freely. Build. Oh, this is only it's three deep. So we need those two plus one more row. Pyramid. Okay. Not only are animals an excellent oh, source of protein, queue. but they also provide various valuable materials. Okay, I want snap actually. Alt. There we go. Yeah, once you've done a few times, the build system's pretty good. We'll be able to do especially fun stuff later as we get things developed. Hey there, Arden. Jump on in, join the party. We've got a lot of zombies to kill. So do another row right across here. That way it'll be a four by four. I think that'll be big enough. Let's see. Oh. I'm just going to put this back here. I set a uh, sleeping bag on the back side of our little platform area. It's on the ground. No need to have it up on the platform. Okay, there's your platform. Need a cooking thing made. Need lots of things made. All right, so when placing, or I'll let you do this, when placing the workbenches, go ahead and put the first workbench. Uh, so production tab, the top one, the equipment workbench. Production put it Put tab. it right here. What part's built. But when you're placing it, you'll notice that it wants to kind of gridlock it to certain locations. But if you tap or hold the Alt key, you'll be able to freely position it wherever you want. Okay. Do you want it right up in the edge, or what do you want? Yeah, just put it up on the edge. I mean, right in the corner? As yeah. far in the corners you can't? Sure. Whatever. Not going to make that much difference. This is just going to be a rough platform with workbenches. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and put uh, storage boxes right here. But you're going to need to build materials for the storage boxes. Okay. Storage boxes are in this. Now we're going to need the uh, material production workbench, I believe. Okay. Uh, I forget which one's which. Is that the B production? Storage boxes need nails and wooden planks. I don't happen to have any. Um, material production workbench build. Okay. And do you want that tucked right up next to that guy or what? Yep. Just run all the production benches along this okay. back line. It, this guy's big. He's going to stick way out past the other bench. I know it. Nothing we can do about that. That's showing you the fully built up version. It's only going to build the first stage initially. Then we have to get a hammer and then upgrade it. Okay. What do we need next? That gives us planks that we can craft, and then uh, we need some nails. Uh, nails are the other bench, I think. I forget. The material production. Yeah, I don't have any. I don't have any logs. <clears throat> um, well, that's crafting bench, research table, crusher. It's the ma no. material production bench, the third one. Third down from the top. Isn't that what this is right here? Uh, 
Maybe it is. Uh, oh, the second one's the coil bench. So try the uh, crafting workbench, the fourth one down. Although we might need to upgrade that. I don't remember. I okay, go... can't do the crafting because I need wooden planks. Planks are made out of this uh, second bench you made. just looking for nail production i just forget where it's at might be nope not there not there yeah it must be that next one crafting workbench okay now i gotta give this guy a little more room because that other one's gonna expand okay there's the nails all right, so now you can make nails and wooden planks and get the boxes down. Okay, nails. I'm going to go chop trees while you practice that stuff. Okay. And I'd like to get all the basic benches up and then get the campfire and some storage, and then we'll go raid the, uh, the lab. All right, where do you want the storage boxes here in the middle? Nah, run them down the... When you're facing those benches, run them down the left-hand side. Yeah. Roger. There's a way of stacking them if we put a wall behind them and put a half-block shelf in the middle. You can get two of the boxes in one space, but I'm not worried about that right now. We can just right. get two or three boxes down and then upgraded and then one box for food. Then we should be good. I have two, two down. Cop zombie staring at me. Okay, wow, I need iron ingots, iron plates, and rubber. Yeah. What are you trying to do? Upgrade them? Yep. Let's get the cook station down first. Um. Production. Yeah. Cooking table. Where do you want it? This back corner over here is fine. Okay. Feel free to move it to the right if you need to. I don't yeah. really care. And then we'll put a box over there next to it also. I'm going to... I don't know if I can get it in the corner because the expansion is for this one. So I'm going to put this on the back wall. It's fine. You can even put another foundation down on this side if you want. I don't really care. There's going to be more of us, possibly. We can always just destroy them and move them. It'll be a slight loss of materials, but... All right, and then another box over here? Yeah, one more box for that one. Build. Build. Put that. Oh, I don't want to put it right next to it, though. Okay. You already set them so that they are. Uh, they share. Or whatever. They share automatically unless you okay. press the T key. As long as it says resource sharing disable, that's what we want it on. Okay. All right, got my inventory cleared out. 
Uh, so now that we got that stuff down, uh, upgrading the boxes would be nice, and then doing at least a level or two of upgrade on whichever of these stations can take it, which just get the hammer out and take a look at it and see if it says upgrade. The first machine, first bench cannot, but these other two can, and the cook fire can. I'm not sure what materials were missing, but I dumped every material I have into the boxes. So okay. All of mine's in there now, too. So, all right, starting upgrades then. Yeah, just upgrade whatever you can. I'll grab some more resources here locally. Okay. And how do you do an upgrade? Get the hammer out, point at the ah. table, and look for the T for an upgrade option. Thank you. They have varying numbers of upgrades they can go through depending on the table. Efficiency drops when working in the dark. It's better for one's Man, mental well being to be in a well lit environment rather than in the dark. Let's install some fire lighting to make your living space Rick. bright and warm. Point. Nail. Okay. How's the zombie killing? Lots of Zez's dump on. Uh, yeah. I didn't change the world density zombie setting. I did change the number of zombies we're going to have during the uh, the midnight attacks. Good thing is I can uh, I can adjust that anytime I want. So if we decide after the fact that we need more zombies just roaming around in the general world for multiplayer, then um, I'll go dial that number up. Where do we get bricks from? They're made on one of the benches after you get it upgraded. The material production bench. Or eh, maybe not that one. I don't remember which one. One of them. Zombie! Shoot it! Oop. I exploded his head. Oh, you're in for a treat if you like death trap forts. This game's even more spectacular than Seven Days to Die in regards to that. <laughs> it's going to be pretty bare bones right now because we don't have a lot of options or materials or tools available to us. But we're going to, uh, I mean, here, here's what the starting stuff looks like. I go down to the trap section. We got spiked fences. We got cutters. We got meat mallets that spin around and knock them in different directions. We got uh, grinders that rotate. The grinders move back and forth and spin. We got the shredder, a rotating spike trap. We got uh, spiked floors, pushers, the compressor, where the, the little spike thing drops down and squishes them into the floor. Uh... We got the pendulum with a giant spiked mace ball that swings back and forth and smashes zombies in all directions. And we have the guillotine. Then over here, we have the spike launcher and the trebuchet. And ankle traps, trap doors, barrel bombs, and landmines. You know, this is just the starting stuff. <laughs> this is the, we're, we're not technically proficient yet. Late game, you've got crazy stuff like Tesla bug zapper devices and uh, rocket launchers doing barrage rocket attacks and flamethrowers that shoot flame like 50 yards and just all sorts of crazy stuff. Um, then you can make huge metal fortresses and, uh, you know, it's got vehicles and all that stuff. So it's going to be a hoot. It's the closest game to Seven Days to Die I've seen. I can hear the chirping of birds. Slightly less polish, a little more jank, but it goes a different direction in a few ways. Oh, yeah. Wait. We got uh, nine in-game hours before we're going to have our first Horde Night event. 
Every single night, you get a horde event, and it's going to be 400 zombies attacking us. Not 399, not 401, 400. Alright, how you doing over there? Need a particular material you run out of? Bricks. I can't do anything without more bricks. Which requires what? Where, what's cutting you off from doing bricks? Right. Damn it. Um, how do I rest? Just point at that and hit the R key? I start attacking it. The R key? Oh, I have the wrench, uh, what you call it, my hand. Yes, Called yeah. a hammer. hammer. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why it was doing it, it was trying to demolish it. So, bricks are available to craft in this middle bench. Just takes rocks and branches. Oh, but is there another tab? Oh, there's another tab I didn't have. Each time you upgrade, it opens up another tab in that vertical column. Okay. More jank than seven days to die? Well, yeah, you know. <laughs> These small project zombie games, you gotta uh you gotta learn to love the jank. The more I learn about this game, the more impressed I become at what it actually includes and uh, the gameplay options and elements, so the real fun will start when we raid the lab there, and then uh, it's hour 15 now, so nine hours to go. That's about, I don't know, we're about a, maybe an hour, hour and a half away from our first horde night. Real world time. Where in the heck do you get plastic from then? Mm, various things. You can get plastic from those road barriers, there like the red road barriers. You can make it's it fuel. from... Fuel and resin. No, okay. oh, you, you can craft red it. Rose, okay, red rose berry. I want to go see if I can get some of those. Oh, there's a pile of zombies over there. Vorm, come kill some zombies. It's the laboratory. We're waiting to do that. I want these road barriers, though. I know you do. Yes. Feel free to get them. Just have to kill about five zombies. <laughs> Incoming. Oh, Lord. <laughs> like eight of them. <laughs> Told you. Coming towards you. If there are small animals on the island, it means there are carnivores that prey on them. Of course, carnivores can be dangerous. But if you hunt the nah, of course, I go for the knee shot, the and that's when uh, she dies. How about taking on the challenge of hunting wolves? Going for the left knee. See, that's what you do. <laughs> you take, you do knee shots. Makes them a little easier to handle. Uh, so there's a green one in the middle. He's got a green kind of stomach spot. He's a spitter. So just be prepared to uh, move to the side when he does his little spit routine. Just, just inspect it. 
Should get nails and uh, plastic on occasion. That attack gave me just straight nails. Yeah, just keep doing it. Plastic's not guaranteed, but... More nails. Okay. What's going on? Uh, the wrong thing. How did I manage to... You shot me, bastard. <laughs> I got an arrow in my arm. <laughs> Didn't shoot that. I Come promise. grab your arrow out of my arm. <laughs> I didn't do that. That wasn't me. Uh huh. The reason I turn friendly fire off, and it's not because I'm going to hit somebody. <laughs> He's right, got arrows plastic. all over the place over here. There was one that died over there somewhere that just. I'm assuming you picked up all those arrows, right? I picked up one or two that I saw. I picked okay. the ones out of the bodies that I was near over there. All Once right. the bodies disappear, it's a little trickier to track down the arrow clusters. All right, I got a chunk of plastic. Let's see if that's all I needed to do this next upgrade. Can you add mods to enhance the weapons? Oh, there's all sorts of fun stuff you can do. So the tools have slots in the middle there. It says parts sockets. So you can find specific items that are enhancements for the various things. So like my pipe here has three part sockets. So there's upgrades in that method. Plus you can, you can kind of reforge them to increase their level, which increases their abilities. Plus there's different rarities of all the items. Like, uh, I have a, I have a blue uh, ax here, which is a superior. I think there's four different rarities. Um, so there, there's a lot of stuff you can do for the items in that regard. Plus there's random loot you can find that's more powerful and unique items and just a whole bunch of stuff. What do you think? Can we get a hit on this thing? I need rubber. Bambi down. One more rubber, okay? One more, huh? All right, if I'll find you some. Rubber. We can make it. We have resin. Okay. All right, first box is upgraded. I got a plastic. Does that work? More plastic is always good. While exploring unknown territories, it's common to get lost. There are times when you can't remember where the important places were. Flags can solve such problems.
What is Warm doing way over there? I'm gathering all the boxes and barrels and trash cans and stuff. There's also a kiosk over here in front of this factory. But I don't think it has anything we can use currently. But there's about half a dozen barrels and uh, barriers in here. Uh, I'm not sure how many of these I'm going to get coming after me. Find out. Zombies sometimes expose their weaknesses. By attacking the weakness at the exact moment with a kick or stab, you can temporarily disable the enemy. Especially when attacking an enemy's weakness with a kick, combos build up. As combos build up, the damage from kicks gets stronger. Are you busy so looting active over use here? Of kick combos doing? to overpower the enemy in one go. Grabbing the barriers. I want to see a kiosk. There's one right here next to the door in front of me. To the left. Oh, the little sign? Yep. Just interact with that. Wow. Okay. How about throwing a little surprise party for those zombies? The throwing big weapons. zombie ahead of you there Let's on the other side of the fence, so be a little careful. If he gets attracted, we gotta be careful with him. Yeah, be a while before we get that. Rabbits generally symbolize peace. But have you heard of the exception? Apparently we've woken there somebody are up. Of a rabbit that has become aggressive and attacked humans first. It's the mutated rabbit. Alright, I'm taking off. This rabbit is much more powerful than a regular rabbit. But if you can catch it successfully, you can expect a great reward. Head back to base. I got quite a bit of random stuff to be able to get whatever you were trying to do done. And we need to finish raiding the lab real quick and then get our night base defense set up. Put a lot of resources into the building stuff, so we're probably going to have to check the mess of trees again. Yeah, probably. That's fine. We don't need much. Especially if we can get the lab done. I should probably eat something pretty soon. <laughs> Got not much of a bar left. <laughs> Put a ramp on this thing. All right. Oh, I guess I'll have a uh, pig's feet. Ooh, well, that helped a lot. Four iron, a bar, and two more rubber. I'm going to have to use up all your condoms there, Warren. Huh. Yup, whatever. All right, so how are we doing on upgrades? Still got an upgrade here. Can't do it because we don't have a wrench. 
That one's done. That one couldn't upgrade. Campfire can still upgrade, I think. Needs to repair. Oh. I got to repair. Upgrade. I need iron bars and tape. All right, I'm ready to go raid the uh, raid the lab real quick. Okay, let me dump. As I recover my hit points after feeding. I'm good to go. Okay. Wonder what boost that meat and the pig's feet gave me. <laughs> I don't know of a way to check. I, I can see that I have the buffs, but I can't see what they do. All right. Uh, let's circle the outside real quick. There's some loot to be had. There's rotten sodas in the uh, soda machines here. How does a soda go rotten? I don't know. Some tape. Where are you? Inside? Oh yeah, I'm out front. Uh one guy coming up on the outside. All right, inside. Ooh, pretty stuff. It seems Walter wasn't lying. Make sure you grab the quest item here. According to the experiment log, there's a storage for the mutant substance on the second floor. The new humanity project was led by the extraordinary Dr. Cleon. I gained a lot of knowledge through Dr. Cleon's writings. It's hard to believe that his project turned the world into this. An armor item there for you. Yeah, hang on. Okay, that just updated. Now what? Uh, tab, equip, okay. All right. Oh, I've taken that. There it is. All right. Now I got the log. Need two points of attention. Oh, I should check that. I have lightning. Was ignition fire? I need strength five. 
I have lightning, fire, and vital. It's easier for me because the big crate here had clothing items, so I've got a full set now. You don't have as many clothing upgrades as I do, nope. so you probably can't do much yet. All right, which doorway? There's one here. picking up each other's ranged material. <laughs> well, mine are easy. <laughs> I'm I'm using throwing stars at the moment. I know, but when I go to pick stuff up, I hit T to pick a, all, all the things up that are nearby, so I end up grabbing some of yours. A lot of uh, shelves in here to loot. I'll let you do that side of the room. I don't remember hearing that alarm previously. I know the food tells me, but if I have eaten the food, I no longer have the food to look at. <laughs> That's my point. I have two little icons down in the bottom corner of the screen over here that tell me I ate two things. But without having more of the things, I can't just highlight them anymore. So... I want to know how I can find out what those two things did. And since I don't have more of them to look at, I'm not aware of a way for me to find out. Next door is open. One coming in. That was pretty quick and easy. I'll hand you the stars I pick up eventually. back to the first room moving back to the first room I because those side doors go into this room here both of these doors lead into the same room and there's usually a few guys in there and I want to be able to retreat out the door if necessary instead of having to run through the building got an electrical hit on him Time there were several times I was here, there were two or three guys. Quite a bit of loot in here. Clothes, clothes. Nothing really. Everything's good at this point. Either Remo. Yeah, there's a lot of, a uh, lot of. Stomping of the nuts. <laughs> Wait till you see what's going to happen on, on the horde. <laughs> There's going to be so much nut stomping. Mostly chin kicking, though. Ammo. All right, I think we're done in this room. Probably two or three in this next room. This sounds like we got guys outside. Oh God, behind me. 
Eh, let's run away. Run away. I'm trying to move. Get outside and heal if you need to. I can't see your hit points. No, no, I'm okay. You surprised me from behind. Yeah, I kept hearing growls. There's a lot of them. Run, run. It's too many. or something I got stuck yeah dang hit yeah, him with hit I him mean, with arrows I... just keep running they're coming after me I'll just lap them while you get healed up up oh, they're coming after you now careful they split yeah. up there's a lot of guys we must have had of uh, another horde show up and or it's different in multiplayer <laughs> die you bum Oh, yeah? Heh! <laughs> That's got a lot of hit points. Take care of that problem. All right, I'm clear over here. You still run around? Coming your way. Two of them, three of them. Like there's one big guy left on me. Yeah, I flying drop kicked him. over here. These have got to be all yours. Where I was killing guys. Well, that was a good time. That was a lot of them, that was for sure. Oh, another guy coming in. I'm going to do a flying kick. Flying kick! Oh, I missed! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so much kickery. Guess while we're here, I'll drop loot off. <laughs> yeah, so I could have my throwing stars and arrows back. <laughs> All right, throwing stars are in the right hand box. Eighteen hundred six hours to go. We're still fine. We're almost done with the uh, the lab. Once we get that cleared, we'll come back and uh, finish up any upgrades. Grab a bunch more trees and uh, build our little horde moon fight things. Uh, let's see. Oops. There's another arrow. Okay. Heal. Is that there we go all right i'm good yeah i kept hearing stuff growling from outside i didn't know how many there were we must have had a daytime horde show up that added into the spawn that we uh, pulled from inside either gemamon Three guys. Hey, stop stomping me. Javelin's star is sticking out all over the place. <laughs> I just At least none it. are sticking out of me this time. Hey, I am good. I've been doing my learning. 
Alright, no wrench for these. Time to go upstairs. I don't remember there being any bad guys upstairs. Eh, multiplayer's going good. The only oddities, there's a few oddities here and there in the way they handle it, like doors, when he opens a door. At least in the tutorial area, I couldn't see him opening doors. I had to open it behind him. I don't remember if it's doing it in here. We'll have to test it. All right. Ignore this door on the right. Oh, never mind. You're going the other way anyway. Not another level for Mackum. I didn't gain a level. What are you talking about? No. <laughs> the bong noise is giving it away. Yeah, I'm on the bong. Ignore the door on the right. Aye. We'll go in there in a second. We just have to grab the uh, the not really here sample. Just here, just take. Oh, broken mutants. Okay. Mm. So, did that, oh, watch, watch this door. Oh, there is a zombie in there. Sounds like we got some from outside too. Maybe they're summoning. Oh, yep, here comes more. Careful. So apparently they're spawning with the alarm. More coming. First two are down. <laughs> we'll just just kick them back and forth. Yeah, it's weird. I didn't get any of these alarms when I was playing single player. Hmm. Well, that's good. Or at least it's interesting. All right. I think I have to grab the quest thing too. So, was the door showing as opening when I was when I was clicking yes, on them? Yes, I can see the doors open when you open them. All right. Weird. In the tutorial area, you couldn't. It was just the starting zone that didn't do it. Fortunately, according to the experiment log. There's a record of Walter agreeing to deliver the mutant substance to Dr. David. Let's ask Walter about this. Who is hiding in the server Oh, room? leather gloves, leather helmet, repair kit, the infantry looks and a cloth space. bag. Using cool. storage, you can Equip up. Unnecessary I've got most of the stuff, the starter gear. You can directly use All right, now I have a hat. Within a 50 meter radius uh, these gloves are crafting, the same. Research, and trap reloading. What, does the bag like increase carrying capacity? Increases for a single slot, it increases the number that can be in that slot. So if normally you could hold 20, increases the, stack upgrading size. the bag increases the stack amount you can have. All right. <laughs> get ready you for just some more. Want it to get warmed. Heck yeah. More research papers. I'm going to I'm going to running drop kick this first guy through. Oh, missed it. Missed it. See if I can get the second one. Where are you guys? Damn it! <laughs> Apparently you can still kick me. <laughs> well, yes, you kicked me, that's for sure. All right, there's no more doors to open, unfortunately. Oh, wait, there's one more door, the one to get to Walter. <laughs> I don't know if another you're alarm will go off. You're trying to get us killed, aren't you? Ah, nowhere close to getting killed. Although, oh, no, we're, yeah, we're good. Okay. Um, 
Now I'm done with all the belly that. So I'm on. Yes. Aim for the weak point. Okay. Now that one didn't stay open. Uh, just hit spacebar a bunch of times. Well, I mean, if you want to listen to him, feel Walter's free. But... Makes it hard to trust him. but for now, we have no choice but to follow Walter. Hopefully, this time there will actually be some mutant substance. I'm out of the lab, heading back to base. Yeah, might as well chop some trees on my way. You've already leveled up quite a bit. When you earn experience and level up, you gain an ability point. Using that point, you can enhance various abilities in the character info window. I've got uh, player killing turned off. So, while we can move each other and stuff sticks if we shoot each other, it doesn't actually hurt us. You can have PvP if you would like. I don't generally play PvP games of this type, though. I gave you the Vord roll, by the way, so you can see the community server info and all that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. An evil duck landed in our area. I had to get rid of him. Oh, okay. Was was the duck's name Radar? <laughs> no. There goes another piggy. <laughs> really? Wow. I just ran down the hill to my left. Uh, yep, I see him. Running back up the hill. <laughs> I'm trying to go get him. We got a, twice the food we need to gather. Yeah, I want to get traps going here, too. Oh, one shot kill. All right. Another evil duck. Oh, is that a duck or a pigeon? I'm not sure what that one was. Where'd you put my arrow? Huh. Gotta harvest the herb bushes. There are no such things as herb bushes. What are you talking about? All right, now we need to chop more trees and get our initial set up. Um, we need to get the research station up. Research station, and then we get one of the upgrades, engineering, and um, then we can build uh, fancier traps if we want for this first one. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move to building... Build, production, research table. We have all the parts. Building it. Keep those. And I guess I will put it right here in this corner. Brought back 14 iron plates. Hmm. All right. Uh, so hold Research on. Research station is up. Don't don't pick anything. Uh, engineering graduate. One of us needs to try to get engineering graduate. I'll let you do it. Go ahead. So it's in the uh, skill section. The top left one says engineering graduate. One of the things yes. we'll unlock is the trap machine. So just click on it and then acquire it. 
research. Should only cost okay. 10 out of 62 that we've accumulated. Correct. It's now selected and achieved. All right. I'm out of the way. So that means what did I? Hey, what is this? Hey, a police pistol. You looted one? Yep. Really? That's the first looted firearm I've seen then. And a set of brass knuckles. Interesting. Oh. Uh, I don't remember where that thing is made. Armor, brass knuckles. What the heck? Are we missing a bench or am I... Do I just not have it because I didn't pick it? What are you looking for? I gotta go pick that same skill. Gold. Traps. All right, tell me what you need, otherwise I'm going to go out and harvest. There it is, trap machine. All right. Um, we need iron. Iron, iron. rubber, oh, copper wire. Okay. Let's see. Ideally, I'd like to get, what is it? If we do the same setup I did on night two previously, it's... When you say iron, do you need iron ingots, iron plates, what? You, you get them all from the same place, so just go um, go on mine iron. Okay. Mine iron. Okay. Mine iron and disassemble the metal barrels. Uh, let me think. So one, two, three for the spikes, then a fourth for the pendulum. So four, and then uh, five, six... Yeah, we'll see. So, gears need ingots. We've got nine ingots currently. We've got a pretty good uh, pieces of iron, but we're going to go through iron really quickly. Um, let's go ahead and do... Four of those, which gets us... Two, oh, copper wire, copper wire and gears. Damn you, Gears. Hmm. 
<laughs> and I'm out of ingots again. Uh, so many iron. That gets us to five. So that's three plus the pendulum plus one extra. We are just one gear away. All right, six. So that's the big outlay. We got six trap machines. Now we just need the standard materials for the fun stuff. Um, so we're going to need lumber, branches. Um, yeah, a little bit of iron and then just trees. We'll be able to set up something fun. All right. Uh, you're up that away. Oh, are you good on iron then? Is that what you're saying? Oh, we're never going to be good on iron, but, you know. Grab whatever iron you pass and chop trees. Hour 20. It's going to start getting dark. Uh, visibility is still pretty good, even at night. Hunting gets a little hard, but everything else is still fine. Whatever food I ate gave me a whole bunch of hit points and uh, stamina. Probably the pig. It lasts a long time. Okay. One seed and one rubber resin. pistol. Fancy. If you build a birdhouse, birds will come to visit. 
and the eggs laid by the visiting birds can be a good source of food. Okay, let's see. Got the defenses up. you're following along splendidly when constructing buildings remember you have the option to adjust the height I'm heading back, chopping trees as I come. Wow, that's uh quite impressive. <laughs> ah, damn it, I put it the wrong direction again. Erg. Now it's gonna take more materials. Okay, now it's not so impressive anymore. <laughs> Applied logs and iron, so
it if it goes all the way around. Darkness is starting to fall. Zombies will start swarming around midnight. We must have our defenses up before then. The simplest defensive structure we can build is the spiked fence. When surrounded and endangered by zombies, lure them to the spiked fence for elimination. Got that, soldier? Need rope. Ha. Zombie. You found a zombie? Where? Yeah, by the base. Come save you. Too I late. saved you. <laughs> you scared him. That uh, should be good enough, I think. All right, so when the wave starts, the idea is we just stand back here, and they come to us. Okay, and Yo, we get there. Come, come over here. Just run and jump into the side of this, and you'll grab the edge and climb up. Oh, okay. So as long as they have a path, which they do, they'll try to go through this whole killing spot and it'll just slaughter uh, most of them. Are those eight sets of, or four sets of spike traps or is that one? That's three spike traps, three floor spikes, and then the pendulum is a three space device directly above it. Now, these devices require us to basically rewind them after a certain number of uses. So with the hammer not in your hand, you just got to kind of move up and point at a part of the device and you'll see an option that says like reload or rewind or something. I forget what the word is, but it's an R. You just have to press the R key and it'll reset it. So like the pendulum has 30 uses. It'll swing back and forth 30 times and then it'll stop working. So we just have to come up and usually I just aim at the post here and press R and it'll reset it. It only takes a second or two to reset it, but... We're going to have 400 zombies to kill, so we're going to have to be resetting these things. Um, the spike ones, depending on how much traffic we have, we can either run up like I am here and try to reset it or drop off to the side and kind of point up and we should be able to reset it, hopefully. Uh, I'm not sure. I might have I made it might have made it slightly too high for the, uh, the lower ground resetting. But just know that the traps that move will stop working at a certain point. So. What is this thing here? A big hammer that spins around and is going to smash them off to the sides, so then they have okay. to go back around again. So, 
Um, okay. That's all of the... Uh, actually, I might have one more. No, I think that's uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think we have one more trap thing, but this should be plenty. Uh, a lot of a lot of them are going to die on the spikes over there. We can probably just stand right here and just kick them back off the spikes. Or they, they get through the spikes, we just kick them back <laughs> off. And uh, we could probably just stand here all night and be victorious. I'd actually like a few more spikes out here, which we just need basic materials for. Just rope, lumber, and branches. I'd like to get three more spikes right in the front, middle. I'll let you handle those. Oh, I'm supposed to do those. Okay. Sure. It's just the very first trap, the barb fence, and just lay three more right in front of the ones I've already done, right dead center, straight out from the uh, platform. I just want to double layer the middle section. And it'll pull materials from all the way over here, so you don't need to carry anything over there. All right, I am going to go upgrade my bow. Eh, it's a common bow. Do I bother upgrading this? Mm. That. We have free tape. Can we build tape? Is that something we can make more? It takes rubber, which we've mostly gone through already. All right, you said you wanted what out here? The very first trap, the spikes you're staring at. <laughs> I yeah. just want three more of them. Just laid straight across the front. I want a double layer, basically, that front right in front of the steps. So, spike trap, spike trap, spike trap. Okay. That way, when I'm kicking them off the top of the thing there, they, they kick back far enough, they'll land on the back layer of spikes and then have to go through the whole thing again. Insufficient materials. Yeah, your short rope or something. It'll when you're looking at the recipe, it tells you what you need, and it it'll fade out anything you don't have materials for. So you're short lumber right now. Okay. So I'll go chop trees. We've got short lumber. I need to make lumber. Yeah, which takes logs. We've got thirty-eight. I brought back a pot. Well, go ahead and make lumber. We're going to be using a lot of wood, so I'm going to go chop trees. We still got two and a half, three in-game hours, so we're ahead of the curve. Do need to come back and eat something, though. All right. Roasted pig's right. feet plus 40 satiety. That's why my bars were so big. 12 hours of plus 40 satiety, which means more hit points and more stamina. <laughs> so. Oh, that's why. Because I ate, I think, a good meat and a pig's feet. That was 60 total satiety. So it made my bars gigantic. The wizard has eaten all the food. Badly. <laughs> Nine eggs. The woodchopper needs food badly. Food is not just for filling our stomachs. It can also give our bodies special effects. Thanks to the refreshing taste of the mushroom and fruit saute, one can feel lighter and more energetic, resulting in faster movement. The flavor and nutrition of meat are elements we need even in a survival environment. To make a truly delicious meat dish, fresh I need meat to find is a must. something that fills Let's you for up, fresh meat for our delicious but meat doesn't dish. necessarily give you any other buffs. So, yeah, I need like rice or beans or they they, they all have uh, some bonus to them. Food is going to be an issue. Whether you're going to have to do constant hunting or <clears throat> figure out how the farming oh. stuff works. Traps. I get traps up. 
How fast is time moving this game? <clears throat> you know, one second equals one second. <laughs> if you mean the day-night cycle, it's the default day-night cycle is 240 minutes, which is four hours. Have you properly so... prepared our defenses against the zombies' onslaught? You can never have enough when it comes to defense. Construct the secondary defenses immediately. The midnight, soldier. midnight of every day, which is two in-game hours, is uh, a huge zombie horde. We're gonna have four hundred zombies coming at us. <clears throat> you can change all of these things, by the way. You can change how long days last. You can change the horde settings. You can turn them on and off. All that stuff. We're going to have to get really crazy, fancy, creative with the base stuff, but this should be enough for the first one. And if not, I'll blame Makeham. That's why he's here. You're the one that knows what they're doing. Or never mind. That's completely untrue. Okay. Pretty soon, even if Radar joins in, he won't be able to make it to the base for the Horde Moon. Horde Knight. Um, one of the big birds, a heron. I haven't yet been... Oh, there he goes. <laughs> I haven't yet been able to kill one of those. I should upgrade my axe. At least it's blue. Have you done any animal traps at all before? Nope. Okay. No, idea, no idea how they work or what they take to build. They're in the B menu. There is a... Um, so in the production section, there's actually two separate tabs. One for the machines and there's a tab below that looks like a farm. That's where the traps are. What's it take to make them? Uh, smalls, uh, stone sticks and leaves, <laughs> some seeds. Yeah, uh, seeds are going to be the problem. The big one takes, yeah, gears, and iron, copper wire, seeds, meat. What's it take for the um, crop plot thing? The first of the farm plot things. Farm plot for food ingredients. Uh, yeah. For manure. Nails, wooden planks. So we want to kind of tag team the farm plot with the small animal traps because they kind of feed into each other and will help us grow the seed supply. Because the small so, animal traps are going to provide the animal corpses that we can use the components from to make fertilizer, which goes into the farm plots, which grows the seeds. And once they harvest, you get more seeds than you put in, which gives us additional seeds to then put into the small animal traps to get more animals, to get more farm plots. <laughs> so you kind of got to work them together. Yes. 
Gotta be careful how much further I go. There's zombies up these hills. Well, I don't know what else to do here. Um, <laughs> I would love to start putting out some traps, but maybe I work on the seed plots instead. Stupid knife. Weapons durability goes down. Every swing, every shot won't pack the same punch. So we have a little bit of manure. Form, it's gonna need some repair. How, do, right? how or where does one craft manure? Think of the equipment manure. repair kit as your weapons BF. Manure looks like kind of a wagon. You can make that worn-out weapon feel brand new. And it is locked. So does that mean we have to do some kind of a research to get it? It should tell you what's required. Uh, manure used for farming, craft, crafting workbench. Okay. Is it on the crafting workbench? In? Okay. It's probably locked behind a skill. Yeah, it's locked locked behind a natural human in the skill category. Second column. Takes 20 research. We could do it right now. So feel free to grab it. Just open this window, go to the skill section, and then it's kind of at the bottom. Second row up from the bottom. Natural human. I did go right to that. Yeah. Just click on it. Just takes research. Nothing else. We've okay. got enough. So then that means I can build. Wow, it takes small meat cuts to build manure. That's the strangest thing in the world. Okay. Um, so we're not even going to have enough meat in order to do that. I put 24 arrows in the left-hand chest, bottom right corner. Apparently 80 is the stack limit until I get a quiver or something. Oh yeah, that reminds me, I need to make a shield. <gasps> no rubber, no wooden planks. Spear is pretty good too. The what? I need to have a spear. Is that what you said? Shield, soldier. You want a shield? Block an enemy shield. strike accurately with a shield. Just come over to this okay. bench. An Make a shield. But if you rely on the shield indiscriminately, your posture will collapse, putting you at okay. risk. Yep, no rubber. Therefore, it's paramount to constantly monitor and manage your guard. Oh, it's in my inventory. I'll put it in the box. I just made some. Oops. Apparently, we. All right, there you go. Don't have enough. We will after the horde, though. <laughs> so it'll be pipes and uh, shields and uh, ranged weapons for us during the horde. All right, so what are we short on? Animal parts? How do you actively block? Just hold the right, right mouse button. Oh, okay, it lowers my weapon. I thought I was going to move the shield. No. Well, so what happens is, as long as you're holding it up, if you, as long as you hold right mouse button, you're in shield mode. So if you look in the bottom left corner of your interface, you should have a picture of the pipe, the shield, and then a white bar going out to the right. Anytime they hit you and your shield blocks, it's going to diminish your stamina a little bit, the orange bar, and portion of the defense bar, which is that white bar next to your shield. So you can't stay permanently defense because they'll wear it all down um you'll also be able to shield bash if you time it right 
the shield activation when they're about to swing at you. Out of time, it'll it'll swat them with the shield. Zombies will be here soon. Really good if we get swarmed again and one person's got a bunch of zombies on them. You can go into defense mode until the other person helps out. So, I've got 80 arrows, got my shield, got my Ooh. pipe. But if you go to your pipe, then <laughs> yuck. And then you, you swap over. You have to manually go back over and put your shield back up again. I have the shield on the hot bar, so I just hit one and six if I need to. Or that's where my positions are currently. Okay. That's okay. That way I don't have to go into my inventory to try to pull it back out again. You won't need your harvesting tools when we're fighting, so. Are you sure? Well, I don't know. I think you I might. Think, yeah, you know, I I think that probably would be a really good idea to. All right, so we got light over there. I think we'll have enough to defeat 400 zombies. <clears throat> the good news is the zombies don't really go after the platforms and stuff um, unless they have no way to get to you. So if you put yourself in a location where they can't get to you, then they'll just start destroying whatever they need to to get you back again. So you can't just stand on a platform back behind the main stuff there that's separated um, where they wouldn't be able to reach you. They'll just come run over to the platform you're standing on and blow it out from under you. But as long as they see a path and all of the trap stuff is invisible to them, they'll always take the path. So we just got to run them through the rat maze of uh, death as many times as possible. Ideally, we want them to loop. We want them to run through it and then get knocked off of the ledges so they drop back down and then have to go back through again. I was thinking that we should have some spinning blades and above it maybe a long, thin bar that they have to, to travel down. Go for and it. And then we could just knock them off of that. Yeah, sounds great. And there's some kind of a pit maybe. Yeah. And some stairs that they have to climb out. You can do all of that. Just <laughs> just can't do dig into the ground to do it. <laughs> you just got to put it all above ground. You can do the seven days to die stuff mostly and more because there's more trap variety in this one. Especially once we get electricity and you have to do all the wiring and power generation and power storage and all that stuff. Neither hey Silas. Yeah, this game has it's not voxel based. No no deformable terrain in this one. But what it lacks in that it makes up for in other ways. So I don't consider it a negative. It also does not have random maps, but I don't think that's a bad thing either. The map is very large, lots of interesting areas to visit or make bases in and so on. Um, and I'm never impressed with Seven Days to Die randomization anyway, so. <laughs> yeah, you better get here quick. You got one hour in-game, uh, Radar, and you've got to get through the tutorial screens. <laughs> You're not going to be here when this kicks off. You're too late. I don't think you can make it in uh, one in-game hour. It's going to depend on which starting point you get. And if you haven't done the intro stuff, you're not going to know what to do and you're not going to get here in time. It'd be funny if you do join in and uh, all the horde goes after you instead of us. Oh, yeah, I didn't read that part. I skipped one. <clears throat> That's fine. That just means more XP and uh, research pages for Makem and I. So, uh -huh. It's not the XP or the pages I'm worried about in this game. It's the food. <laughs> you can do either single or multiplayer. All right, so we got a little bit of time left. Um, we just need to hop up there when it kicks off, but it's going to be another 10 minutes probably at least. So we can go harvest some more trees or something while we wait it out. Plus, there's usually a couple minute delay between when the gong goes off right at midnight to when they show up. So I am going to, let's see. Do we have many resources downhill? Eh, there's some rocks and iron and trees. I'm going to go downhill back behind the base and uh, grab some resources. 
Oh, you also move faster if you don't have anything in your hands. So if you're trying to get away from zombies, you want to put away your weapons and tools and stuff. You you run faster without anything equipped. Well, you're in for a treat. This will be funny. We don't have a lot of the fancy trap stuff, but we got enough to be entertaining for the first night's board. Big thing to remember is we just got to reset the traps when they run out of uh, charges. That'll be exciting. So did you get a full suit of the leather gear and get some of the, um, uh, the coil stuff unlocked? Um, I have the first, first one. Uh, do I have a full set of leather? No. Did you check them to see if you might be able to get another one if you just increase a um, stat? You might have enough coils, but you might be missing one stat point or something to unlock one. I don't know which gear you have, but... Man, did I... And which one are you missing? I think we have some in the chest still. So I have a helmet. I need armor. Well, hopefully some of the zombies drop some decent loot. So I need armor, and I could take two points of either toxic or ignition. Yes, the, uh, whoa, what the hell is that? Oh, fucking alligator. Ah, god damn. There's way more animals in the game in multiplayer. <laughs> I even never saw, whoa, he ran right to where I was standing. No, thank you, Mr. Gator Man. <laughs> Entire, uh, I don't know, I played like eight hours of solo and I never saw a single pig, uh, Deer I saw and the birds and stuff. What the hell? This gator's coming up the hill. <laughs> we might be running the gator through the traps. That'd be funny. Let me see if I can lure this gator up here. Where are you, gator? Yep, he's still coming. Come on, Mr. Gator Man. I'll just keep shooting him in the head. Ah, we shocked him. Whoop. All right, he's moving kind of fast. He's on fire. <laughs> Hit him with shock and fire. Let's see if he goes around the front to the traps. Yep. He might die of the effects before he gets there. No, no, don't shoot him. I want to I want to see him go into the traps. He might die on the spikes. God damn it. <laughs> I think he died on the spikes right after you shot him, but I didn't shoot him. I shot the floorboard. Well, there's two in his back. I didn't hit him five times, I don't think. I didn't shoot him at all, so... <laughs> no, sure. All right, well, he was easier to kill than I thought. Yeah, first gator I've seen. I want to know what kind of hide he gives you. Animal fat, meat yeah, cut, crocodile skin, intestines, bones. However, considering your cooking skills, it's important to first build a foundation <gasps> before challenging complicated yeah. dishes. Board's going to kick off here any second. I climb up here on a platform and came in. All righty. Yeah, the hordes get harder. Uh, every five days, they kind of rank up in difficulty. Um, they happen every night at midnight. And they're all fully ch adjustable. The server settings, you can change the hit points of the horde members, what composition they are of the different types. You can set percentage levels of what, what mix you want. Um, you can set just a whole bunch of things. So it is not a voxel-based. You cannot deform the terrain. 
You can, however, build bases and death trap dungeons and such that integrate the um, existing buildings. All right, so in the previous experience, they came from that direction. Do I need to have the hammer on my bar to do the, the R, or is it just you, a reset? You do not want the hammer in your hand when you're trying to reset traps. Got it. The hammer is used to repair, which we shouldn't need to be doing much of. Okay. So just leave the hammer out. Are you going sword and board or just bow to start? Shouldn't need the sword and board, but... You want XP? Use the bow or the uh, the bow. Okay. I'm just I'm gonna start up here. I'm gonna stand right here and just kick them back onto the spikes. And if we get overrun, I'll back off. We'll probably get smashed by the the swingy ball thingy if they get up on here with us. But uh, if you get knocked off, just run around and then hop back up on the backside. Damn, that thing's big. <laughs> oh yeah, it's gonna smash in the face, and you're gonna go flying. <laughs> <laughs> So last, uh, yep, there here they, they come. come. Our first customer has arrived. Hi, guys, we're over here. They'll come from the opposite direction as well after this group gets done. But first they got to get through the spikes. And most of them are going to die on the spikes. Just stand up here next to me and kick them if they happen to come up. Feel free to shoot. Back on the spikes. Here comes the other group. Hi, right, folks. You're going to have a hard time hearing us, so I'm not sure how much talking I'll do while this goes on. You can enjoy the spectacle. Ow. <laughs> All right. Let's let the traps take them for a while. Go ahead and back off. We'll see how many of them make it up into the traps. With a double layer of spikes, not too many of them are going to make it up. That's one. Ooh, he's a big guy. Feel free to pick whichever side. I think this side might be easier and lob some shots at him if you want to try to get some XP. We can recover this, the, uh, the arrows later. Look at that. Look at that horde coming down the hill. <laughs> Only about 380 to go. Yeah, the spikes down below are really just there to delay them. It staggers them and gives the, the spike ball a chance to hit them more. And these are all first night zombies. These are all fairly low level. We'll get some stronger ones a little bit later into the, the horde night. also run up and loot more coming yeah all right I just looted 90% of what's down there we can also pass through the traps so this does not block movement oh okay and the traps won't trigger on us the traps will only well the spikes will hit us but the other stuff will only trigger on a zombie if you happen to be standing there when it triggers, you do get hit. Get back down there. And do the uh, traps ever degrade? Very lightly. As long as you give them a path to follow, they don't bother hitting the traps or the structure. The only time they'll go after structure is if they don't have a path to you. Okay. And is there such a thing as a jumper that we have to worry about? Yep, there are jumpers.
Feel free to come forward. The trap doesn't hurt us that much. You can get a lot easier headshots when you're up close and just kick them back off of the uh, thing. You can even probably come down the stairs a little bit so the trap doesn't hit you. Bitter. How exactly do I have no arrows? <laughs> I, had a, I had 80 freaking arrows. I've, I've used like five. Where did my arrows go? And where did that go? I know I moved that out, so I know where that went. But yeah, where did my arrows go? I don't know what happened to my arrows. Whoops. Did you kick me? No, that was the spiked ball hitting you. Oh. I'm really annoyed not knowing where my ammo went. I've got 44 arrows on me if you want them. <laughs> mm, I just want to know where my 80 went. <laughs> Another spitter coming. Aim for him. To the right. Backing up. Whoa, what the heck was that? It's always the ball. <laughs> Anytime you ask, it's the big spiky ball thing. <laughs> like I got. Oh, the traps deal damage to you. Very interesting. Yeah, I got all the things reloaded. Whole group's coming. Yeah, it'd be easier to stab them if we had uh, spears. Timer or zombie kill. It is when 400 zombies are dead. That's when it ends. <laughs> if you do not kill the zombies, they will still be si sitting here at 6 in the morning. <laughs> you, you've got to kill the zombies. So this is one of the tougher zombies. The feral looking guy? Exactly. We. So yeah, he can make it through a few of the traps. I'm not sure if I'm taking damage from the traps. It's moving me, but I don't think I'm taking damage. Oh yeah, your health actually doesn't go down. It just flashes the screen red, making you think you take damage.
I'm not in yet, Fertile Creek. I'm waiting for the whole time. He was too afeard. He, purpose, he purposely delayed his arrival time. <laughs> I don't know that I would have blamed him. <laughs> what is this spin kick thing you're doing? It's just one of the kick variations. I'm not doing anything special. I'm just hitting the E key. And it just has a few different animations. You can do jump kicks, but for that I have to jump, and I don't feel like jumping onto the spikes. <laughs> the spikes will do damage to me. The power of the punt. <laughs> Electric kick. Kind of channeling oh, no. Chuck Norris and uh, Roundhouse kicked them all. Whoops! Somebody kicked me off. <laughs> Who could have done that? Oh, won't let me grab that one, huh? Oh, that's interesting. That, that was the swinging thing. So be careful when you're trying to jump up. You can jump up onto foundations, but apparently not the trap sections. <laughs> we. Uh, another pretty good sized group coming. I've only seen one of the feral looking guys so far. There's one of the bigger guys coming. Do some first person kicking. Combo kick. <laughs> that was kind of fun. Nobody's making it to the hammer. There's a big guy coming. Back off. Let's see if he makes it to the hammer. He'll probably get knocked back by the pendulum. He's up. Here he comes. Nope. <laughs> He's not going to make it either. And he's down. A double dose of the spikes was too much for him. Reloading. Looks like, oh, another feral guy. Hey. Barrel right behind you. <laughs> you got you got a boost on your way back. I kept getting hit by the dang. Oh, they just can't get past the uh, get past the the ball of death or <laughs> the ball of relocation. Squish. Shoot this feral. Get some XP. Oh, he just went down. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, no, he's not. <laughs> 
I'm still annoyed at my disappearing 80 arrows. E. Knocked off the... Uh-oh. It sounds quiet. Well, that's it. That's 400. Jeez. <laughs> Can I get my... Can I get all my arrows back? <laughs> I'm still finding arrows all the way out here. I got splattered over a pretty good area. All right, hop up here on the platform and take a look. So go ahead and take your hammer out and just kind of go point at various things and see what the condition is. Shouldn't be much damage to any of the uh, frames or foundations or traps. 100%, 100%, 98%. Oh my goodness. 99%. 95%. Yep. Spike at 100, spike at 72. Is there a limit to how long the causeway can extend before they lose a path to you an attack platform? Uh, if there is, I don't know what it is. It's way bigger than this. They will chase you a very long distance before they lose track of you. And, um, I mean, I don't have extensive direct personal experience on the rat maze and how big you can make it. But, um, some of the things I've seen in doing some research, they, it was huge and, um, they'd path to you in quite a, quite a distance. So I would prefer to keep things as compact as possible, finding fun configurations to maximize the trap damage and the push maze to drop them back off of the platform to force them to go back through the maze again. There's also trap doors. So if you build up, you can have them drop through a trap door and then have to go back around again. You can build it multiple stories tall with uh, multiple ramps, all sorts of stuff. Yeah, for, for these first few nights, the just spike traps alone can pretty much take care of things. So I just wanted to build the funner stuff to kind of show how it works. Um, but the traps, the spikes alone can handle it. But we only had, what, one spitter that time? I only remember one. Oh, no, no, no. There were, were there two, more? maybe three. All right. I missed some then. But there's the spitters that shoot ranged at you. Then later we're going to start getting ones that explode and rain fire all over the place. And everything we have up there is wood. <laughs> so, you know, I think it's the day five horde when those start showing up. So we would need to make sure we start upgrading to wood materials or to stone materials as quickly as possible. Um, otherwise, the whole thing will burn down. And, you know, that would be a problem. All right, so uh, we should have, have some loaded? research paper. I have not. I've got 96 research data. Well, there's 87 arrows. Now there's 99. Yes, okay. There. My arrows end up over here somehow? Yeah, your arrows were left here. So you, you did a, a, like an auto sort, and they stacked on top of the ones that were left. Ah. There was only like 20-some in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what happened to the 80 I shot? You didn't pick them up? Uh, got me. I'm holding the 34 I just pulled out of the bag or the back of the box. That's yeah, all I've got. It's like 60 of my arrows went mi missing. Okay. All right. Reload then. There's another 80. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Um, 126 pages. That's not bad. That's not nearly as many as we should have. I don't understand why we got so few, if unless you're holding a bunch. You mean there's more? Yeah. Pretty sure you're holding... What the hell? Why is this platform over here? Somebody experimenting with uh, foundations? <laughs> experimenting with raising a foundation, yes. Okay. Okay. Take that one apart. 
art. You'll want to check the condition of your various tools as well. See if you need to repair anything. All right. How about 270 some odd? A little better. I thought with 400 enemies, we'd have more though. Cause I got that many out of uh, my single player with only 200. I'm not sure if they're changing the amounts or what. That's not going to get us both leveled up with everything we want. Is it that tough to make arrows? It is, because every arrow requires iron. And you need iron for so many things, so it's kind of painful to have 80 arrows disappear. Arrows. Piece of iron for every single one. And a branch, which is also annoying. <laughs> so... All right, so we're on day one, hour two. First night's horde is done. We are on uh, the quest to head into town to the hospital. Okay, and I need leather armor and shoes if there is such a thing. Yeah, we just got to go hit locations. There's a warehouse near here. There's just that away that's got a fun monster. We can fight okay. some zombies. We'll clear out some of these houses, I think, next. Let's see. I was going to see if I can do anything more of manure. Nope. I'm not going to be able to. It takes meat to make manure, which is. All right. So that piece of meat is small cut meat. Yeah, I think yep. I. I think I cooked everything. There's one small cut meat in there. But I think the... Hmm, is it the meat cut that can be broken down? Yeah, the meat cut can be cut down to the small meat cut. Just go to your handmade in the trim section. But that's only, that's only one. I mean, we need more. Oh, you get one to one. Yeah. Yeah. So there's two meat cuts in there. You could get two smalls, but I'm not sure how we're doing elseways on uh, food items. We're gonna need another box too. Too many random yes. things. Yes, we are. Okay. Uh, can we do furniture box? We can do a generic box. Well, I could have done a generic box if somebody hadn't stood right where I was going to put the damn thing. <laughs> sounds okay. like a, sounds so like a personal problem. You... Hmm? Sorry, Go ahead. I was going to ask what kind of specialization are you guys going for? Ranged, melee? Uh, it doesn't matter. Build whatever you want. Okay. And anybody can be anything, and at this early levels, it doesn't really matter. So, you know, go crazy. I've got more of a fast moving ranged kind of specialized guy. Lots of stamina, range damage, and critical hit type stuff. Make him went soldier with I forget what boosts he picked. Uh rain range boosts and then uh like hit point stamina. Kind of buff body buff soldier buff basically. Okay, I'll focus more melee spec. Oh, with the, with the exception, I also picked up a harvesting buff. So, because I figured I'm going to be doing much more harvesting. <laughs> okay. Um, wait. Oh. Okay. I need more nails. Good thing we don't need iron for anything. Good thing. Process leather. Um, that would be hides. We process the hides. We have not. Okay. As time goes by, the zombies will become stronger and stronger. Soon enough, there will be those who charge straight through the kill zone you've created. Attacking them from a distance before they get close seems like a good preventive measure. 
Here, the long-range traps can fulfill this role diligently. A new box ready. Oh, that's why. Talk about repairs. Alright, got my gear repaired. Upgraded my blue axe a couple of times. <clears throat> a couple of times. We have the material to do that? We do. Require junior blacksmith. I can't upgrade it again. Let's start with repair kits. There's one or two in the box. Have to make some more otherwise. Alrighty, I am joining the server. Alrighty. Let me know when you're out of... Well, it'll tell me when you join in, but... Let me know when you're out of the initial little lab area. And I can come Sounds up... Sounds good. I'll come up your direction and grab you. Or make them and I will. Are the superior siege engine, Silas. I agree. Make some trebuchets? <laughs> Not quite yet. I don't think we need them yet. Now that we've got a carry radar, we're going to need some help, obviously. But Hey, how do I use the repair kit? Uh, go to your handheld, hit H, or from handmade. And then there's a repair choice in the middle column of sections. Then just pick whichever item you want from the list. And if you have the kits on hand, you can hit repair at the bottom. It's always wow. a full. It's always a full repair. Yeah, my axe was like at two percent. No wonder why I was taking forever to chop. <laughs> Dull as hell. Yep. Hey, so I think we need to make more repair kits. Which okay, so storage is pretty good. Uh, research. Zero research data. I don't know why it doesn't... Uh, research data you have to actually pick up. It won't uh, broadcast it for some reason. All right. I am absolutely grabbing the first of that. I'll make sure there's enough left for you to grab it. Then... What else is critical? At least one of us should take Junior Blacksmith to unlock machete, spear, handmade submachine gun. You already grabbed the manure. Oh, we'll let, uh, we'll let Radar be the donut maker. He can get the uh, food researcher. Sounds good. Because I'll need the better food because I get less health from food. I don't think we've seen any, any books yet that are used for unlocks. So... What did you do to do upgrades to your axe? Uh, go to this bench. And one of the middle column options is reforge. Just click on that and then click on whatever item you want to upgrade. And it'll tell you at the bottom what materials are required. And all your items will have a plus one on that list in the upper left corner. That's what's going to increase. And each time you upgrade the piece, it gets more expensive with each upgrade. And you'll pretty quickly hit some kind of a blocker. I wouldn't. I don't know if I would upgrade the gray. I'm not no bonus stuff. Anything. Well, except. I don't care what you upgrade. We're we're in good shape. So, spend whatever you want to spend. Because if you don't, you know radar will. So do it before he gets here. 
I think you're, you're not saying that radar would. No. Yeah, I'm not going to double that one up. Okay. Oh man, I need food badly. What do we have left? Lots of food. We have lots of food. Okay. Okay. I need something with. That doesn't give much calories. All right. I'm leaning towards being a logger. I'm taking, I'm upgrading my axe. I'm taking the logger research bonuses for chopping trees. And I am done spending points. So there's 180 research data in the leftmost upgraded box. You absolutely want to take novice porter. That's going to give you 12 more inventory slots. And then whatever you want on the rest. Oh, I would need... One of us needs research. to take. One of us needs junior blacksmith. So, <clears throat> I would need research pages, right? I told you they're in the box, right here. No, no, no! You have to hand them to me. <laughs> All right, novice yeah. porter, you said. Hey there, Morden person. Been a fan for a while. Quick question. Any reason you stopped? Maybe CDA content. <laughs> I stopped CDA content nine months ago. <laughs> nine months. I'm taking a break. I did six hardcore years of cataclysm. Nonstop, wall-to-wall, -wall, everyday cataclysm. Not just streaming, but also researching, testing, and answering player questions on Reddit, Discord, YouTube comments, all over the place. I was just, just inundated with cataclysm for six solid years. I needed a what break. Cataclysm. <laughs> <laughs> I had to take a break. I finally just totally burned out. So I am on a break. The break won't last that much longer. So everybody, you know, hold out hope. It's not a I'm gone for everything. It's just a form needs a break. I relish and anticipate greatly the opportunity to go play the game again and not know every goddamn thing about it. <laughs> so <laughs> it'll be nice. I want to be surprised. I want to be horrified. I want to die a messily. <clears throat> That's what I'm hoping for. All right. Uh, you said you somebody needed to take what skill? Uh, blacksmith, junior blacksmith. Uh, junior blacksmith. Second tab or second, the skill section. And then kind of in the middle, junior okay. blacksmith. Junior it unlocks, blacksmith. unlocks access to machete, spear, and machine yep. gun. All right, got that. Bobby! Okay, I think <laughs> that's probably... Well. Smack him in the mouth. I'm going to do a running jump kick. Running jump kick incoming. <laughs> that was like a drop kick. Like you fell down next to him. And then drop kick, down. drum kick, whatever. How's the combat against the zombies um, going? Now it's telling me about headshots. To exploit the weaknesses of zombies can make combat much easier. All right. There oh, is remember, spears. Ooh, zombies primary I need copper for spears. Head. I think you'll like spear. Practice using or the machete. Precisely target and hit a zombie's head. They do a good job of taking off arms and legs. And the, the spear. Only thing keeping us out is copper. So you can make copper. So I have to go over to the copper bin. Yep, just go to the metal processing section. We should have gotten some copper while we were mining rocks. We won't have a lot, but you should have enough to at least make a spear or two. Make a couple and throw them into... I'm trying to make this third box, the uh, equipment box. So I'll be throwing the random make throwing knives and javelins and other stuff in there. Feel free to make a couple of spears, see if you get a rare one. Spear seems pretty fun. I haven't used it a lot yet. The only problem with the spear is you can't have a shield with it. It's a two-handed weapon. But it does let you keep the zombies at bay, and it does a whole bunch of poke damage, and it takes limbs off pretty easily. I haven't tried the machete yet. All right. How you doing there, Radar? Still going through the first lab section? Yep. Not too terribly long. Mostly it's just listening to the people. You only actually do about three things. <laughs> <laughs> I need plastics and rubbers. So that would be this bench. Plastic. Don't have it. Don't have plastic or rubber capabilities. Okay. 
because we're out of raw materials. Yeah. Yep. And you got to chop down half a billion trees. And pretty much. It's all about the rubber resin. Uh, who was it that was specializing in tree chopping? All right. Actually, I'm going to wait on that. Radar should be out of the lab here pretty quick. Want to make a run out to wherever he's at and drag him back? Sounds good. I'm just trying to take anything that's not nailed down. It's only uh, like, it's only like three loot opportunities in that place. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like me to do with the remaining uh, papers here, Varm? Just throw them in a box. Okay. So. I'll hold on to them for other critical upgrades later. All right, so right now, hey. You got a pokey stick, do you? Did you get a fancy one? Did you make more than one? No, oh, gosh, no. We ran out of plastic after like one try. Mm. That is a long spear. Jeez. It's pretty, too. Remember, it's right click and then stab. That does the, the, the real pokey. And the eyeball. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> now, if you're going to be kicking people... Okay, I, I right. will pull the audience and see if they think that was a deserved drop or jump kick. Drop kick. Hey. Go ahead. Go ahead. Try. Go ahead. Go ahead. I got buttons. I got buttons. Here, I dare you. All right. I'm out of the, the thing. All right. Peaky invite radar. When I when that uh, pop up came up. Oh, lucky us! Forward, you're you're real close. And uh, it just continued to walk me forward. <laughs> so you have a uh, if you face west, you're facing kind of northeastish right now. There's a road that you can follow, and literally, if you just stay on that road, you'll hit us. Oh yeah, I see you guys on the map. Yeah, so you're just down the road from us. They're going to lead you through some intro stuff. You don't have to be up there to do it. You can come to us and just do it all right here. Um, so I'm just going to start running up the road towards you and uh, escort you back in case there's any bad guys. And I'm going to start chopping trees again. On my way to you. Still kind of dark. See how many zombies I aggro on my way through. Uh oh, it's one of those mallards of doom again. Gotta be on the lookout for those guys. Hmm. Oh well. Probably should have brought some fancy food with me to increase the stamina bar, but. We don't. We don't have any fancy food. Somebody ate all the fancy food. Whoa, I already have them on the screen. That was quicker than I thought it was going to be. Damn, so many birds out all of a sudden. Woo! Big pointy spear. Nice damage. <laughs> yeah. That's like 52 base, I think. It's almost like doubled the base damage of the pipe. I hit her once, knocked her down, and a second one killed her. Uh -huh. Yeah, sounds about right. Oh, pink, huh? All right. That's supposed to be purple. Bye. Yeah, it's purple. <laughs> My character's name is Tiny. Alrighty then. Ready to go? Uh, just crafting all the, the tools. Alright, I'll fight these three zombies while you uh, do that. Try to keep them from coming at you. So is the uh, red box that popped up, is that considered the weak point? Yep. 
When you see that, give him a good kick. Nah, when you see that, I have to stab him because I get a... Whichever. A thing the for it. kicking does some kind of combo building process, so... I don't know all the details with it. I usually give him a kick when I see it. Come on, Raider. You can do all that stuff over with us. It's only like a 60 second run. <laughs> oh. You don't need to be okay. here in particular to do all that stuff. Just keep going down the road. Eh, a couple zombies. Let me get in front of you. Stamina. All right, I gotta take these barriers apart. We need the plastic. Another zombie. <laughs> Shot kick. <laughs> uh, what does more damage? <laughs> Be alert for bears. I haven't seen any bears. Yeah, they both do the same. Had a little alligator surprise you, though. And he did. I saw something that looked like a boar earlier, but I didn't know. That could have been a baby bear, maybe. But it was nighttime, so I didn't get a really good look at it. I hurled another mallard of doom. There he is. Are you landing? Or are you? No, oh, he's not landing. Birds are food. <laughs> I would have stopped if he had landed, but unfortunately, he was not. Unfortunately, trees are not food. Actually, trees are food. You can get apples. Oh, nice. And seeds. Well, we need the seeds, but... We need the apples, too, so we can make that apple, mushroom, whatever, and get a movement, bo movement boost. Oh, me. Oof. I think I might have my graphic settings a little too high. Stutters here and there. But not, uh... Server lag? It's a graphical lag? I think it's just my own computer. You keep saying that. <laughs> I accidentally threw all my stuff into the box instead of... I thought it was like a stack button, but nope, it just dumps all my inventory in there. Most of the stuff on the road. Did you get a upgrade noise slash windows notification form? Oh, that was the Windows virus threat letting me know we're clean. Our trouble was wondering if it was his computer. Nope. <laughs> Do trees respawn? 
Uh, no. Okay. They can be grown, but they don't respawn naturally. A lot of that can be adjusted. I don't remember what the setting is on this difficulty. All right, foxes. Can I get the foxy? Oof, got him in one. Uh-oh, Ritter's moving. Uh, okay. I start swinging at a tree and it just vanishes. That sounds like server lag. Here comes one incoming. Nothing moving in the area. Except that crow. You're running down the road trying to loosen a load over there. Uh, some pretty dangerous stuff out that way. Be a little careful. Oh, alrighty. I'm just out here breaking rocks. Mm -hmm. Right across that road is a warehouse, and there's a pretty big nasty guy in there. I was right. I was planning on heading over there to fight stuff, but I'll come your way, I guess. If you want to join over there and make them? Okay, so I'll knock this tree down. Nope, server lag. I guess it's just my client side updating that there's nothing there. Wow. That's pretty easy to see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, heading over to the warehouse. All right, we're going to leave Radar here to his death. Yep. I got to find some iron ore to break. Right here. <laughs> you can also get iron from all the metal barrels along the roads. And then he the needs POIs. a quest. Oh, are you not seeing this rock right here? Uh, No, you're floating. Hmm. Yeah, there's wow. an iron node there on our screen. Huh. Yep. Oh, now it's there. <laughs> I've seen reports of some weird issues with things in multiplayer um, in regards to either resources and vehicles, where as long as you have somebody else that can see it, interact with it in some way, it'll become visible. Or for whoever can't see it. All right, just got to find one more of those. So these metal barrels, for example, you can get uh, iron out of. He He's not trying to get iron. He's doing the quest. I, I know. Yeah. 
Still good to know. There's the big guy. Careful. He's a creepy crawly guy. He's actually pretty strong. You gonna shoot him full of arrows, or? Heck yeah. Another guy just came out. I'm working on the crawly guy. Two more coming out. Hey. Oh, there's another crawly oh. guy over there. Bye. I don't have weapons. <laughs> I got a knife, and that's it. All right. First. Whoa. Oh, yeah, they explode. <laughs> I almost got hit. All right, Vorm, got two. No problem. You get the other one? I didn't loot either of them, but they were their gear was I'm pretty in. close. Oh yeah, the creepy crawler guy's dead. Alright. I got some kind of a critical electrical hit yeah. on him. The big guy hit in the leg with a spear and apparently that helped. Yeah, you can probably take their legs off pretty good with the spear. I need to get a machete made so I can test that. I will make it as soon as we get metals and stuff back. Stop it. <laughs> Hate it when they hit me while they're down. Another guy. That's the one I want. Okay, you got your arrows off of him. This thing is lootable, is it? Okay. Yeah, not much. It's bitter. Out of the right. Guys coming up behind us. Three, four. I'm bailing back out the front. I thought that looked like radar there for a minute. <laughs> you had pink hair. <laughs> arrows are all yours so I'll leave you the arrows including the one on your back <laughs> did you hit me did you ah you stepped in front of the shot hey look a kiosk and it's got a gun symbol they got maintenance kits I think this is the same list as that other one I showed you hardware store kiosk hmm. all right good to know
I'm coming around in crash cans here. Another one coming. Two more. All right, the second guy's a screamer. He just got another guy behind him. Oh, gold loot. And shut up, screamer. Hey, punk. So he doesn't attack, he just screams and draws any nearby zombies. What do we get? A machete! A yellow mine. machete! A rare machete! Yeah, hand it over. <laughs> he's my kill. You can have it if you want. I don't care. No. You were wanting to try it, so there you go. Let's put that How in place of that. Disassemble something you've built. Hammer. You mean the uh, foundations and such? Uh, no, the workbench that I plopped down in the middle of nowhere. You gotta build a claw hammer. He could have right. had you made a hammer. You equip the hammer, point at it, and there will be a disassemble. Okay. Rates. What's in the box? These are the ones I'm not supposed to kick, right? Do not kick. Ah. All right, come look at this one. The rack thing here. I'll go deal with the zombie. Whoa, armor. Oh, zombie's uh, outside the wall. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pick up all of these and then we'll figure out where they're going later, okay? Yep. Well, I mean, equip anything. You don't have a slot oh, okay. already. I've already That's got a full we set, so. All right. Um. That's fine, and that's fine, and um, you have a cloth bag. Uh, I have a small cloth bag, common. Okay, all right, we're good there. Mm -hmm. So, climbing up on top of that container to get the little thing up here. I mean, up. Oh, didn't even see that. Yeah, I climbed up on top of the rack, and that was the only way to get up. Huh. Gotta be careful of the verticals. They like to hide stuff like that. What was that here? It was just some research papers, so this one wasn't okay. super important, but it's a good good uh, reminder to uh, check the environment. All right. Time to check the two buildings. I think we're clear other than the buildings, and we probably already pulled anything that was in there out. Eh, maybe not. Gotta take that door. It's the only way in. There's probably gonna be zombies in there because none of the other things are open or accessible. Oh, can't get it. All right. Just gonna re-log and adjust my graphic settings. Right. Need some strange artifacting. Just lower it a little bit. Might be set too high. I don't know. Some eight submachine gun ammo. All right, I think we're all set. This was a pretty good haul. Ha. 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 
<laughs> you can hop jump your way up the ladder. Is there anything up there? Mm -hmm. Probably not, but it doesn't function as a ladder, but it lets me hop jump my way up. I don't see anything up here. Faster for the server is make them stinks, right? Uh, stinks, stinks with uh, no, a Z. I have said that on stream. Sorry. Stinks, stinks with a Z. Mm. Double Z. Stinks. I think I already looted this. Oh, get to blow it up for three pieces of iron. So you loot it and then you just deconstruct it. Let's go take out this intersection. There's a few zombies and a, oh, another one of the crawler guys. Shooting, shooting, shooting. Oh yeah, I saw that guy and I was like, yeah, I'll just leave that for later. You can tell the headshots because it puts like a star around it, a special icon. Wait, back up, back up. <laughs> hey, look, the arrows. <laughs> it's raining arrows. Distinct characteristics. To survive, you must recognize these types of I didn't enemies. want those arrows anyway. The standard 25, 25 research data for him. Zombies. That's like an entire skill choice for Head that to guy. The front lines and hunt down those light zombies. Ooh, plastic barriers, those are good. It's a fairly beefy guy, straight down to the road. A little guy coming from the right. Oh, and the left. And the big guy. <laughs> I'm backing up a bit. Got multiples? Alright, gonna hit a club. Oh, guy came in behind us. Careful. We're up to like four now. Yep, alright, back in. Trying to back. Get, get out of here. I keep getting knocked. Right. You're fine. Taking on the big guy. Oh, got a critical headshot. Weird. I got a blue chest out of him. Okay. Uh, so, I'm, check it against your existing chest piece. It'll have a different coil arrangement. No, no, no. I mean, a chest. Oh, yeah, blue box. Well, a when you loot, when you yeah. looted it, there was something in it. Yeah, a shield. Another Bye, guy's bro. coming. Your side. Yeah, I'm gonna try the machete on him. Wow. Another jumper. <laughs> Took off his leg. I don't know if the spear is all that hot. It doesn't seem to do damage half the time I swing it. Well, it I can't. It's hard to tell uh, what you're exactly swinging at on a server, but it looks like you're too close most often. But however, crude oil cannot be used as energy direct. Yeah, that could so be there's it. A process required to extract fuel from it. Or it sucks. So this time I'll show you how to extract fuel from crude. I haven't used it enough to make a educated decision on it. Which tutorial thing are you on, Radar? Uh, currently to hunt the wabbit. Hunt the wabbit? Really? Uh, hunt I don't the think I've one? ever done that, so... <laughs> huh. Ooh, so many pages of quests now in the journal. 
Must be one of these. That's the main story. Okay, that's my crafting quest. Hunt a small rabbit. <laughs> Survival quest, page six. Oh. I, I need research assault soldier, apparently. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of stuff like that. Let's clear this house while we're here. Wake up, zombies. Four so far. you loot it. I'm going to just look around the back here and grab a few things. Ooh. Big falcon or something. Missed opportunity. Managed to not kill it. <laughs> Too many arrows. Yeah, that's a big bird. I wonder if you can shoot him out Apparently. of the air. Uh, maybe. Apparently I missed shooting my arrow into the equipment workbench as one of my tasks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll start getting multiple categories of stuff. Feel free to ignore some of the categories. The workbench one you actually want to do, though. That's the primary one. Well, it looks like that bird is not going to settle. Yeah. He's on the roof of that building. That's fine. Get him. That is a big bird. I'm going to... Climb that ladder and hop over it. Jeez. I'm not sure I like the, no matter what animal you kill, you get like one unit of each of the things. One bone, one meat, one bone, one feather. That was a gigantic bird. <laughs> Go kill a pigeon for the same amount of stuff. Durable iron node. Uh, heading back towards home. Hang on, drop one more tree.
I don't remember. Did we clear this house yet? This one up to the I right? I don't think so. I think we just ran right past it. I did the car already. Foxes and birds. Some zombie respawns in front of the lab. Ha! <laughs> got it. Worth it. <laughs> Kick him out of the air. <laughs> Here's my fox. Yeah, the door's still closed on this place. Meh. Yeah. Right. I don't see anybody either, so. Um, well, knock on the door. Survey says. <laughs> there be zombies. Should be clear to loot. I got the outside. Uh, we're on slightly modified normal settings. I bumped up the zombie spawn quantity on the hordes to 400 and I forget what else I fiddled with. I very slightly fiddled with one or two other things, but not much. I'm running back to base to drop stuff off. Yep. Once we have some idea of what we're doing, we'll bump the difficulty up a bunch of other ways. All right. Making the turn for home. Eagle feathers. Uh, how's radar doing over there? I am doing. Okay. All right. Well, there's some leather armor in there for you if you don't have it already yet. Oh, you can craft research data from 10 leaves. Theoretically. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of bushes and tree chopping to get that many leaves, though. We can take you up into the lab so you can get the uh, quest progression on it. It's right inside the front door. Lab's repopping right now. Yeah, there's good restocking stuff for radar. You got you get air armor upgrades over there. Hey. 
I have an office worker's head. <laughs> oh, zombie trophy. Okay. 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 How many malls do we have? Oh, good. I'm going to take those. What in the... Ha! Shut down, radar. Uh... A goose? Uh, you don't need to worry about that. <laughs> You're trying to do every single quest. You're going to have a million of them popping up. All you care about is the main story quest. If you hit J for your journal and just go to the main story section, just work on those. You don't need to be... Yeah, doing... my current main story is just get to level five. No problem. Kill something. Come with us. <laughs> we'll go up into the lab. <laughs> oh, hey, an alligator. That'll be great. Yeah, <laughs> I, I can see him from over here. <laughs> it's a kaiju. He's actually not hard to kill. If you've got, do you have a bow and arrows? Uh, yeah, I've got a bow and twenty arrows. Shoot him in the face. I'll go get him. I'm coming to craft a shield. I'm going to try to craft a shield. Not sure you can get headshots on alligators. Oh, there was one. Got a weird hitbox. All right, they got some seeds planted. He's on fire. All right, let's see what this gator gives. Only took 10 arrows. One bone, one animal fat, one intestine, two meat cuts, one skin. Yeah, I might have to run around some of that lake. Remaining time, 12 hours. Is that game hours or real hours? No, <laughs> oh, obviously real hours. Wouldn't be game hours. I don't know.
You can get that fifth level, by the way, if you haven't already, just by harvesting stuff. Alrighty. Get XP for pretty much everything. All right, I got four seed farms built. But we can just take you up to the laboratory there. Do a quest and get you the XP. I think there's a wolf nearby. Where? Which direction? I don't know. I got a <laughs> quest to hunt a wolf. Uh, I don't know that that means there's one nearby. I got one for hunting a sparrow when there was a sparrow nearby. Yeah, oh well. It's like your craft again. I don't know. What are you trying to do? I forgot what I was trying to do. <laughs> you were going to make some arrows and a bow and then come headshot some things. I, I just now got the, hey, get 10 headshots quest. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, that's the strangest thing in the world. I'm supposed to use a shield to parry. Okay. Full in the lab. I'll let you play with him. Let me know if you need me to get involved. Second guy coming down the hill. Research data. Nice. Yeah, pretty common drop off of zombies. Get these exterior ones over here. What the heck? Don't phase into me. You got jumpered. So another trick you can do is uh, jump kicks. You jump and then hit E. Yeah, you can shield bash. If you block at the correct time, you'll do a parry and you can counter attack, apparently. Uh, some chicken. Oh. Sure. I don't think there's going to be any loot. We've already looted this place. Won't have spawned. Zombies there could be, though. All the doors are open. Thank God. Otherwise, Varm would wander around triggering all the alarms. Careful, you might get hit from the left. They must be upstairs or out back. Sounds like upstairs. Yeah, they're upstairs. Oh, 
There they are. Spitters. You'll have to let me know if you're ever low on hit points because I can't see your HP. Yeah, I'm pretty low. is 40 HP. Place is empty now. One bar of health. So, if you haven't grabbed it already, quest items at the front desk here. Uh, I did, yes. Okay. Pretty much what it. other healing items are there? Is it just painkillers? No. Oh, no. Right you go to your handmade section, you have herbal medicine and bandages. Okay. You should have some materials at the base you can craft into them if you don't have any on you. Alrighty. There's a particular I bush. I should uh, particular bush you painkillers or not. I would hold those. Particular okay. bush you can harvest to get the um, herbs for the medicinal wrap. Oops. Oh. Uh-huh. Sure. <laughs> uh, I need the stone knife. It's F to interact, not E. <laughs> uh, yes, I have done that many a times myself. Mm -hmm. Come on, Iron. Where are you hiding? Ooh, 11 hours remaining. 11 hours remaining on what? Ooh, the garden plots. Is this the Seven Days to Die killer? Nah. It's the closest game to Seven Days to Die that I've seen. Definitely not a killer of Seven Days to Die. They do things a fair bit differently. But it's different enough to be fun in its own right. Especially with the uh, the Horde Knight's shenanigans you get into with the vast array of traps. Yeah, is it eight? Hour eight. All right. So. Ah, it was Crane that I was killing. Okay. Radar's got the quest progression at the same stage that we are. Should be on main story three. Go to the hospital. Uh. Nope, I still have to get to level five. You're still not level five? What the hell, man? <laughs> what have you been doing How is with that yourself? Possible? <laughs> well, he skipped the whole getting XP right at the beginning when I ran him over here. What are you at? Four, hopefully? Four, Four something? Yeah. <laughs> Four and something. I don't know. You open your character sheet, hit C. Big red bar in the upper left. Underneath no, like your level. Four and a fifteen percent. Alright, no problem. You'll get that easily. Oh, stats. Yep. Well, start mining rocks. That'll do it. You can spend I mean... you can spend points on the stats. You should have four points if you're level four. And there's also a coil section we can talk about later. There's uh, a superior leather helmet in this box over here, too. Ooh, a superior small cloth bag. Well, I'm taking that. This that one was here. in that chest that you had me look at that had armor and stuff in it. 
Feel free to grab anything that's in there that you don't already have. Pistol, handgun. Well, leave the well, pistol. We don't, we don't, we don't have enough, <laughs> we don't, we don't have enough ammo to be worth carrying that thing around. Yeah, when you find ammo, you find two bullets at a time. <laughs> well, currently, because I'm sure there are locations we'll find more. Military base. <laughs> Cop shop. We're going to be heading into town or the edge of town next, so we will find some fun stuff. You're most of the way towards our next story location, Mikam. I'm just out here mining iron because I didn't have anything else to do, so... <laughs> Nothing else to do. Poor guy. Oh, dear. There we go. Oh, look, a building. A big building. Maybe I should go raid that all by myself. <laughs> no, we'll be heading that way here as soon as he's done fiddling with stuff. I really don't think I would want to try to hit that building by myself. Eh, it'll be fine. It's not going to be any different than single player. Uh-huh. Maybe, yeah. Uh, what's easier to get, cloth or herbs? Cloth. Okay. Just wanted to know if I should craft bandages or herbal medicine with what we have. Whichever. <clears throat> uh, the only way you can repair stuff was with a repair kit, or is there a bench you can repair things at? You have to have repair kits in your inventory, and then open up your handmade section, and there's a repair button in the middle. Okay. You click that, and then you pick which item you want to repair, and if you have the kits in your inventory, you can just click the repair button and it'll full repair it fully. But Cloth the kit repairs plastic. it fully and it consumes the entire kit, so. When you reforge stuff, that changes the, t the like rarity of it? It levels it up. It doesn't change the rarity. It, um, not even a tier thing. There's like tiers, there's rarity, and then there's ranking, I think, is what that does. It still improves the stats. It's okay to do. You're only gonna be able to do it once or twice, and I wouldn't do it on gray items. I don't know. I just don't think it's worth it for those. But okay, I made my pipe plus one. It's a rare pipe. I don't know if that really matters. It's fine. I we've got. We've got the, crafted a rare claw hammer. We've got the ability to make uh, spears and machetes now as well. At least make them does. All right, I'm going to go... Am I required to come home or... to do that? Mm -hmm. Where are you going, Raider? Punch trees, fishing, anything to level up. Just come with us. You get more All XP right. from fighting than anything else. Sounds good. And I'm ready to go. I got uh, three morsels of food. You've got right. food? <laughs> You have food. Give it here. Punch your own. Head and uphill. Hey, a mutant rabbit. Is it the rabbit of Karnabog? We're supposed to kill that mutant rabbit. Where is he? You actually saw the mutant rabbit? Uh, no, I just got a oh, never radio mind. thing for <laughs> kill the mutant rabbit. Right. I don't know if it looks any different than their normal rabbit. I haven't tried chasing one down yet. You'll have to let me know if you see one of those herb bushes so I know what they look like. It looks like... That. Yeah, these right here. You'll occasionally harvest them okay. and not get an herb, but... I guess you just need the knife and whack it. Yep. Not 
check the items it gives you to the right. All right. One herb, okay. Ooh, big bird. Ah, missed him. Oh. A lot of birds up here. I apparently walked on top of a bird. Eh, screw it. We're not after birds. <laughs> I didn't know you guys were all the way over here already. Go check out the gas station, and then we'll go hit the hospital. Okie dokie. That's a big rock. Is this iron? Yep, that's, that's iron. iron. Ha! Ha! Zombie coming up behind you, Radar. <laughs> Radar's going to mine that iron. <laughs> <laughs> I'll mine there, and if it's the last thing I do. Ha! Got that tree right on you. Yes. So this should be herb plants. All right, stop kicking me in the ass. I <laughs> I don't need help when it's one fucking zombie. <laughs> Especially your kind of help. Just pretend I was on the that giant uh, pendulum hammer thing. <laughs> Just a little push. <laughs> Multiple zombies out front, out front, I hear, and I mul hear multiple, from the... multiple inside, and a kiosk. Going back around the side. Oh, you guys are inside. All right. No, no, I am not. <laughs> I'm along the back fence. Oh, can of beans. Mm -hmm. Grats. Keep away from me, them. Some ammo, too. I'm up on the roof, actually. <laughs> Spitter. Like four guys, I'm popping outside. Oh, that works. That's a big guy. Wow, well, he's got a ground slam, so. He's dead, Jim. Pick up your arrows. What does the kiosk out front offer? Got a food symbol. Whoa. All right, it's Makem's kiosk. Holy Rudimoldio. But it's not it's not cheap. Yeah. It's vegetables. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna have to remember that's here. Couple incoming out front. Including a bunny. Mutant bunny. Can't tell. Busy fighting other things. Alright, spitter's down.
So this here radar is a kiosk. There's various types. And they're located at specific locations. So this one's, oops. This one's uh, food and drink and maintenance kits and cans of beans. Well, here's an auto parts kiosk over here. You can also sell things to the kiosks. So there's a sell section. But you have okay. to you have to turn them into something back at the base, like baskets of things, in order to sell. Gotcha. Okay. You got wheels, frames, tires, mufflers, and yeah, I guess vehicle parts. Repairing your car. And I think to assemble them also. All right, heading back inside. I have no idea who's looted what in here. I've looted a decent amount. Oh, Tons door. of food that I'm going to keep away from Makem. He's eating pig feet. Canned food, canned food, canned food. Hell is... Oh. Makem's about to get hit. Sounds like more on the way. There was seven cans of beans in that uh, row of containers. I've got that's eight. <laughs> Seven cans on me, some rotten cola, fuse. Man, this place was chock full of beans. All right, back out front. Um, dropping some beans. Or what else we have in common? But somebody want to grab this pile of beans that already has some? Sure. If there's anything on the roof. There is nothing on the roof. Yeah, mobility's a lot better in this game compared to Seven Days to Die. Barring jump boots and whatever other crap we had. Do lots of jumping. Ah, cycling. I like these containers we can loot and then destroy for material. Now I need to go to the research center. You don't have the hospital one yet? I thought we no, already got to... I just got to level five. Oh. And you did pick up the research notes when we were over there? I thought that's what you told I me. I did. did. It didn't count for anything, I don't think. Find the research center location. Move research center. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll just run back and get you guys back here. Need a wrench. Far I have away. no wrench. Yes. And there we go. 
Experiment desk. Logs on the first floor. Yeah, right inside the front door. Front door, take an immediate rate. But now floor. doesn't he have to go upstairs to find the thing? He'll talk to, uh, what's his name at the top? So, what do these do? ATM machine. ATMs. Oh, we don't have the wrench yet. Damn it. <laughs> Dog. Or wolf. The sound was coming from inside the building. Be weird to have an yep. animal in there, but maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna pop the front door open. Oh. One zombie in sight. Yeah, me both times. I can't find the mutant substance storage. Second floor. Yep. Uh, when you get to the top of the stairs, you take a right, you go straight forward into a big lab room, and it's at the far left end of the lab room on the shelf. Ah. Then you go talk to the guy back at the other end of that big room. Go through the door there, and you'll find the security guy. One right. Just checking rooms real quick. We got closed doors, closed doors. Oop, zombie. And a nice shelf. You got it? Oh, yeah. Just one so far. Okay. I'll go ahead and go. <laughs> I keep hitting the door jam. <laughs> Took his arm off. It's like a paint shelf. What do you got? Fancy shelf? Not much. Huh. Ammo box? Equipment repair kit and a chilling coil. Ooh. Can be attached to equipment at the coil workbench. All right. Special loot. There we go. To the hospital. Right. We're just next to the hospital still. Just the next building over from the uh, gas station. Sounds good. Right. Have you got this side looted? Yeah, I mean, it's clear. Right. No, no other zombies here. No upstairs. You did the main doorway. I don't see an upstairs. Unless mm -hmm. you found stairs somewhere. Nope. Yeah, I guess it is a single story. Alright. I go down and check these vehicles and kill a few zombies while radar runs back. Ooh, an ambulance. Probably doesn't mean much. 
Well, it means that it had five painkillers and 15 research. I think we killed most of the local zombies that it would attract. There's a screamer. It's weird that they're not coming towards it. There's a couple of zombies not too far away. Hmm. Uh-oh, there's a radar coming in. He was attracted. <laughs> What's this truck got? Gonna set off that alarm too? No, no alarm on that one. Warm enjoys setting off alarms. <laughs> Climbing the wall. Alright, so this is the hospital parking lot. Clear the... This, uh... this is a big complex. Oop. Zombie. Here, let me kick you in the butt. Mmm, loot box. I got a baseball bat? Ooh. I haven't seen one of those. One-handed? How's it compared to your pipe? Uh, my plus one pipe does 27.5 damage. This baseball bat does 54. Sounds like an upgrade. Is it uh, colored? Is it black or yellow, blue, red? It is blue. Unfortunately, it's two-handed, though. Yeah, you don't need a shield. Hopefully it has better reach. Oh, make him wins the alarm award. Oh, it actually brought the zombies this time. You got a couple coming to you. One of which is a screamer. I'm on the screamer. This one's a screamer? Yep. They don't attack, they just scream and draw any nearby zombies. He's down. I'll stand over here so I don't get kicked in the face again. <laughs> that never happens. Setting off a um, ambulance alarm. There are five painkillers. Well, they're good for that at least. I haven't looted any of the cars in this corner. Moving down the front. One zombie. Yep. Several zombies to the right of the entrance. Like four or five, so be careful. There's a big contingent out there. What Shooting. happens if you hit one with an arrow? They'll come. They all come? Uh, depends on how far away they are from each other, but they will aggro as a group. That's three moving, four moving. The further ones did not. Three of them stopped again, so you're clear on that one. Oh, now the others are coming. Oh, that looks like a feral. You might want to back off. You got more coming. Yeah, there's a feral in that group. So be careful of that one. this real quick. shoulder 
<laughs> you want to take that? I don't know what you're talking about. You got to stop stepping into my shots. Do healing items stack, or do I need to wait for it to finish before applying a new one? Ah, uh, they're instant. They're instant, except for what the bandage. I think I've got like twenty painkillers on me. So if you need healing, just let me know. All right. Hey, a vendor. It looks like we can go into the building, or can't. Well, we can. Purchase painkillers, antibiotics, and chemical detox pad. We can sell a bunch of things, as usual. Five each, huh? I haven't seen antibiotics just says heal 60. Is that all it is? Is just a good healing item? <laughs> yeah, I think the regen ones take a little bit, but the inst other ones are instant. Oh, I see. Uh, HP versus HP regen. Okay. Uh, if you need beans, let me know. I got 16 on me. <laughs> Let's see. To the hospital. Doctor's diary. Follow guard wagon to the hospital. Uh, we got to get up to the fourth floor. Two coming out. Another one coming out. I got the ad. Two more, three more, four more. Five more. Loot drop. Cutting off too many legs. They're hard to hit. Another blue shield. I could use a blue shield. I'll trade it for a superior. Uh... <laughs> I got oh. superior. But when did I get superior boots? Oh. How, you can't drop, can you? So how do you do you, this? You can open your inventory on the left hand side. It'll say sort half one or D for drop. Oh, okay. just press D and then anything you click on drops to the ground. And then press D again to turn off drop mode. So did you get it? Yep. I could use boots. I don't have any boots at all. Uh, Since you have old boots, I want to keep those. I'll take whatever you have. There we go. Oh, that's good for another lightning and an ignition coil. Let's check coil status. Hmm. No. According to this, I have fire, lightning, and vital all active. I, I think radar's in trouble. I'm good. All right, we'll go the other way. <laughs> Tommy coming down the stairs and behind you make him more coming down the stairs I hear a big guy somewhere. I don't know if he's upstairs or in one of those rooms. I think it would be best to clear the downstairs first. That's a point. Oh yeah, I see one outside. Is he 
outside? Yeah, he's trying to attack the wall. Okay. One zombie. Where's the pistol? Proceed with quest to the hospital. Oh, this must be, we have to come back down here after we get the item. It's probably the security guard in this place. Zombie! Wow. Only coming in behind you. Bookshelf. Hey, we got a book. Heart of War. That's one of the soldier research upgrades. Alright, that's the side we've cleared there. There's an outside door there. That's the door we have to get after we get to the fourth floor. Okay, so these are cleared. Do we clear the other half? Uh, well. drop me some beans. I got no food on me. Well, I got ration bars. I'll be okay. Right. Uh, let's see. One. Hey, zombie. Oops. How do I do this? Inventory, press D, and then click on something. And anything you click on after you press D to drop will hit the ground. If you want to do, do a... That. If you want to do a group, you can change the quantities on that left-hand column also. A or A for half, S for one. These doors are op can open there. I don't know if we intend to. Um, I can see zombies down the hallway that direction. Let's clear this side over here. We're making that first, though. Ending machines. A lot of iron ingots. That's what I was saying. I'm fighting iron and copper ingots. Much higher level stuff here. Baseball bat is a little unwieldy indoors. It likes to yeah. ricochet off the walls and doors. Room across the hall's clear. So is finding a handgun ammo, is that like a single bullet? Is that one mag? Single bullet. It said one. Wow. That's rough. Here in my growling again. Yeah, it's either outside or up, up, up top. All right, heading back to the central hall. Oh, there's a crawler guy coming around. Careful. Crawler guy coming to the entrance. Now, he explodes when he dies, so get away from him when you, uh... You see him flop over. Get away, get away. Yellow Blue and a yellow chest. Really? Nice. Grab the bag. 25 research data. 
Yeah, every one of those I've killed has been 25, which is really good. So what are the coils you guys keep referencing? Anybody want a rare machete? I don't know when I picked it up. <laughs> uh, what's the damage on it? Uh, 31.5. Yeah, I'll take and it, that. It, it chops things. Good at removing limbs. Well. Oh, wait, that was my machete. What the hell? Uh, how did it unload it from my inventory? I don't know what. My inventory is all scattered. There you go. Weird. Uh, okay. uh, Radar, you're the big shield wearer, right? Yeah, I'm going to try to be the big burly guy in front. I got a rare wooden shield. Sure. I just need a one handed weapon now. <laughs> I guess I can continue using my pipe. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, when we get back to base, I'll make your machete. What in the heck is all that? My goodness, what what did that come from? Me? I'm letting I'm stacking items so we don't all run out of inventory slots. Oh. Uh... There. That's the stuff that didn't really stack for me. I have lots of space if anybody needs to, to vest. I don't know what you kept, so I don't know what to give you. Doesn't matter. Mushrooms, iron, copper. Wood. I have I have almost nothing that's going to be duplicating what you've got, but I've got okay. four, I got five, six rows available now, so if you're close, okay. feel free to toss stuff out. I've got four slots yeah i've got four rows <laughs> so <laughs> heading upstairs Let's drop that yep all right come on back downstairs and at least it has the know. at least there's the pick up all option ingots sure i got them i built that of mine if you want to leave them so huh mm -hmm. One, one spawn came up, down low. Came up behind us, did they? He's got it. He's okay. Let's uh, let's clear this wing over here first. Oh, okay. through the closed door. Can zombies open doors, or do they just break them down eventually? They'll break them down. One to the left, I got her. She's down. Nothing there. One bullet. Mind you, missing the occasional thing here or there, but when you bypass five bookcases and oh, oh. oops, that's my bad. Yeah, those are pretty important. I'm going in the last door. Uh, I've already been in there. These first pairs of doors are cleared. Oh, yeah, it's a double double room. Looks clear. I'm going to pull the fire alarm. You ready? Sure. <laughs> Only. Go on the other end? No. Checking the reception desk. Coming downstairs Coming behind. Down. Mm, second one.
Yeah. Lots of ingots in those cabinets. Yeah, no kidding. I think mm -hmm. we might have missed an entire wing on the first floor to the E southeast. Yeah, we haven't gone that way yet. Two zombies in here. Sorry for jump kicking you, make them. Uh, who's got a art of war on them? Me. Last room is clear. Chain handle, saw, dot sight. Yeah, it'll tell you in the <clears throat> description of that what, what weapon or tool it goes on. Oh, okay. Each of the tools and weapons has a set of sockets that can have items like that get put in. Sight for range weapon. Are we clear on this floor? Yeah. We got a lot of scary noises. Somebody's either above or below us, I can't tell which. Need. It All wants right. me to attach the saw to the pipe. Coming down. <laughs> Keep expecting him to get back up. Is the only way you can tell if you're parrying is if your sword drops? Is that... One's about what kind of view are you using? Are you in first person, third first, person? Yeah. You can't tell in first person. Switch okay. out, hit V to switch out to third person, and then right, hold right mouse button. You'll see yourself kind of squat forward. Yep. There you go. Okay. It, it doesn't do that in first person. There's a few. What is? Sorry. Go ahead. I'll let you finish. There's a few goofy things with first person view. I don't think you can install that here, Radar. I think you have to be back at base. Yeah, I can do it here. It's handmade. Oh, go for it. What is stability and what does it do? Uh, I think it's, it's that. parry. I forget. Hmm. Okay. I'll throw. I've got, I've got one for attack speed, so I'll throw that onto my pipe. <laughs> That's awesome. There's a saw blade on the end of my pipe now. Whoa, three in here. Back out, back out. <laughs> Blonk yellow glue drops out. Do you that take any? Do you take any of the uh, better loot upgrades in character gen? Uh, I did not. I went for pure melee stuff: what damage, attack speed, stamina regen. Sounds like you've got my build. <laughs> All right, 
heading back out to the main area. This is clear down. That's the wing we haven't done yet over there on any of the floors. I see a zombie walking around in there. Oh, Hi. we're not going there yet. <laughs> We've skipped that area on three floors now. <laughs> All right. I thought it was outdoors. I didn't realize it was another. Nope. Another wing. Where are they at? Upstairs. No, I bet they're at that door that you opened. And closed. They came down behind us. Oh. I, got, I got her. It's just one. Just one? Somebody made a level. I'm level, I'm level six now. I'm level seven. Level 16, maybe. How in the heck do I have 11 vitality? Uh, you've got an item that probably boosted it. Ooh, get, okay. get a ring or an amulet. Um, not that I'm aware of. I wasn't even knowing that there oh. was such a thing. Uh, apparently my rare pipe gives me five endurance and my rare shield gives me five vitality. Okay. There you go. Uh, protection, if I'm going to be tanking. there money the coin money or dollar bill money the, oh, the token that? things that was just me because now i can't move so whatever you did <laughs> Lock i jump kicked you All right, is this the fourth? This is four. Right. Uh, I see the item in here. Yeah. Dr. David's diary shows that he never received the mutant substance. Walter lied. I kind of expected that. Walter, scared of zombies, is hiding on the first floor of the hospital. It might be a waste of time, but let's ask the cowardly I Walter spy about a it. zombie at the end of the hallway. Looks like a big guy. Hey, talk to Cowardly Walter. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's in that first floor room. Are we going to clear it up here? Or? Yeah. Waiting for Radar to come back over here. <laughs> so we can do it in the same order we've been doing them. Okie dokie. Okay. Yeah, in the wrong keys. Well, that's gonna summon some, so. Oh, behind. Here comes another one. So, what was that? Was that just the door I opened here, or was it something down there? That's the door. Thank you.
soldier. Some zombies possess unique abilities. They're all the way down? Among them, uh, big guy. One you should be particularly wary of. That creature attracts nearby zombies when it screams. Keep that in mind. Oops. Picked up. One jack. <laughs> behind, behind. Okay. I call shenanigans on that. Hey. Okay. Uh, whoop. Incoming. The uh, cop standing up down the far end. Around a cop. Stairs. I got it. Okay. Get back here, you. Please be a weapons locker. Oh! I got another superior baseball bat. Some basic brass knuckles. thing keep going up it does keep going up goes up again to the might roof. be the roof probably check yep. it and then we'll come back down and we'll go to the eastern wing we've been skipping and we'll go back down the eastern wing <sighs> is the roof where we make our base <laughs> not big enough too cluttered with junk Oh, that's why. Uh, I need to drop some stuff. Feel free. A big yellow box? That's my weapon, my pipe. Oh, yeah. What happens is when you switch to one item and then you don't have slots for it to return to when you switch to another item. That's how I probably dropped my machete earlier. I still got four lines, so if anybody needs to clear inventory. I don't think that one, you'll be able to hop jump like I did that other one. Hmm. Wonder if ladders aren't a function yet. Whoa. Probably Apparently shouldn't. you can phase through the wall here. Can you unphase? Yeah, I almost walked off the edge. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Expected collision. Alright, I'm gonna head back down. Alrighty. That's good. Okay, I got another stairwell over here. That's interesting. That Completely probably goes to the other aren't, wing. Aren't those the exterior? Yeah, that no, stairwell that's... goes to the this wing we're going to now. Okay. Yeah.
A cell. The police wing. No, a uh, battery. Oh. Battery cell. Stairs down. Mm -hmm. No choice. Two of them in this room. Well, never mind. One of them in this room. <laughs> Even the doctors from the hospital have fallen victim to the zombies. In life, they were noble warriors saving right. lives. Gear. They have become threats to humanity. I order you to eliminate them. There's uh, leather shoes, a uh, blue cloth bag, and a leather helmet in this locker over here. Uh, a blue helmet? Yeah. I could use it. I'm wearing gray armor, so if you have it, any colored armor, I'll take that. But... Um, where does that go? Oh, belt. Okay. Headshot damage plus 20%. Damage leached as HP 0 0.5. Whoa. Oh, there you go. That's a great cloth bag. Um, you want to give that I don't to need the work. helmet. Do you need the boots? Make them? Uh, my boots are okay. And, unless you've got a helmet or gloves that are yellow and I'm blue I've got a blue leather helmet, but I've got old clothes for armor and old shoes for shoes. No. Um, so you can take the helmet. Okay, hold on. And I can take the shoes. Hold on a sec. Let me get in here. Okay. Oops. Can I do that? Okay, let's do that. Okay, now let's do this. Okay, look at those. See if you need any of that. That should be better than at least the old clothes. Okay, yeah. The armors should be better. That should give you a full suit of leather, at least. Yep. And it looks like those shoes are the same. Okay. And the gloves are the same as well. Okay. Uh, you can throw them out if you want me to carry them, or you can carry them yourself, whichever we want. All right. Uh, is there any reason to keep a corpse trophy, or should I turn it into processed leather? Leather. Either side gone. All right, are we good? Yep. Okay, moving out. Uh, <clears throat> Danny boy, the um, DLCs that you see when you go to the Steam page are just cosmetic stuff. Radar, you're alone right now. Be careful. Yep. I'm now full health because of my damage leech. 
Superior leather armor. Don't mind if I do. That gives me plus ten percent stability. So superior, is that blue? Uh correct. Is there any way to scrap items in the field or only at base? Um, no. You can't do it in the base. field. Okay. I mentioned this uh, game has uh, dungeons and boss fights. Cool. Last, right last, here. last floor. Are you suggesting that this is a dungeon and boss fight? <laughs> Raider, Raiders looking ridiculous. <laughs> He's looking you buff. Mean... Oh, it's just my character. I was. Uh... Oops. Med box. <laughs> Med box with one painkiller. <laughs> I already did this. Did not do this. <clears throat> Down from there. Alright, back to the center and to the right, and we'll go talk to the dude. Radar would just went outside. Well, that's not where radar should go. <laughs> Alright. There's a zombie running to the front door, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. <clears throat> Deal with him when he gets here. I wouldn't mind smacking him to heal up the full. Okay, we're going to go down and talk to the Rena cop. All right. No, he gave oh, no, up. there's no mutant substance here either. The truth is, I urgently needed money. I had no choice but to sell the mutant substance to Colonel Victor. It wasn't the right moment to talk about it earlier. Anyway, Colonel Victor is keeping the mutant substance in the military base instead of me. If you have to go to Colonel Victor's military base, you still need my help. So, our deal is still valid, right? It was just a minor communication error. You need an access card to enter the military base. I have the access card at my house. We just wasted time sure, with the Powerly Walter. <laughs> Unfortunately, Right now, trusting Walter is the only option we have. Let's follow cowardly Walter for now. All right, so we have a new main story location. Oh. 
Combat two quest mushrooms here that I can't pick up. Combat quest number four. Zombie that turned while on duty. Scout the hospital. We just cleared it. Oh, you have to just kill ten doctors. Point attack, stab. All right, I say we uh, return to base. RTB. I agree. My inventory is full. You you have inventory problems? Yeah. You uh, put your weapons and gear away. You move faster. So in the top right, there's the skull filling up with blood, and then there's a circle around it. I'm guessing once the skull fills up fully with blood, that's the horde? Mm, maybe. Yes. We still got nine, nine hours to go. So, yes, but that's the process. So what's the circle, then? It's the hours passing. Okay. Mm. Or the this hour, I think it is, where you are in hour fifteen. Yeah, it could be that. I didn't really think that through, did I? Oh, well. Didn't think what through? What was you talking about? I killed a bird, but I got no inventory space for the stuff. That's because you were uber loot skills. Ah, that's what the put button does. Okay. Oh my god, that makes my life so much easier. Yeah, tap F to open it, tap F again to dump all the inventory that matches whatever's in there already. That's a lifesaver. So what flavor? Just slide down the row boxes, tapping FF, 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 and you're unloaded. Yes. <laughs> You can also hit the sort button to remove any gaps in your inventory. Uh, we don't have a spot for ingots. We used them all earlier. Put them down here in, the, in that box. There. Is this the overflow box? The make them all sort later? Um, uh, yeah, sure. Make them all sort that later. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Um, how do you break down old armor? <laughs> disassemble bench? Okay. Material bench. The equipment bench has a disassemble option also. And there's also a bench we can create that's a garbage destroyer. <laughs> it just eliminates objects. Did we want to? Wow. That's a lot of stuff. 83 nails out of that run, 13 rubber, 15 plastic. <laughs> wow.
At least in this game, we can all access the same inventory. Yep. Okay, is there a way to split a stack? Yeah. Left-hand side of the screen, it says A for half, S for one, or D for drop. Mm -hmm. Click A and ah. then click whatever stack and it'll separate it. Oh, you can disassemble at the... <laughs> nice. Yeah, having, having uh, painkillers in the box is not helpful. <laughs> Just took them all out of my inventory. Okay. Yeah, it'd be helpful if there's a way to, like, lock certain slots or something. I'm going to figure out how fishing works. So, oh. I guess I need some sort of bait. Animal fat. Where do you get that from? Animals. Killing animals. Just at random. Yep. Well. All right. Four hours remaining on my plants. Nice. Let's see what kind of seed yield we get off of that. Okay. Yeah, quite a lot of random raw materials compared to our previous totals, anyway. Four sixty one on research data. Yeah, that's a pretty good haul. Okay, this should go in no, this should go in the other box, right? This box. Oh really? Five manure? Where did you find that? I don't know. I just got it somewhere. You get it for random loot. Oh hey. That's all the stuff that I needed. Weapons look oh, weapons look okay. Armor looks okay. Okay, repairs. Um can't do any more upgrades because we're waiting for How to get books. First, some areas upgrade. might just have specific books lying around. Another method is to sift through bookshelves. Okay. Or you can directly purchase it from a kiosk. I'm pretty close to having to call it for tonight. I don't know if you guys want to keep going without me, that's okay. But nope. I'm going to take a break. Mm -hmm. Time to wrap it up. short of doing oh uh radar did you want a machete sure yeah level eight
sometimes I kind of hate these quests. It's like, oh yeah, craft a fishing rod, craft some pace bait. It's like, I've already got a fishing rod. Yeah, it's not good about auto-detecting that you've already done things. Wow. I'm running four coils now. Fire one, vital attack one, lightning one, and poison one. <laughs> now if I could only actually hit something. Okay. I don't have anything there I want to do. Um... Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. I just was looking at farmer because you get fertilizer. <laughs> 60, 60 books. Yeah, some of them are pretty expensive. I've already done a couple of upgrades, so. You want to do anything good? That's Sure, all the good things. I took all the good ones. Uh, just wondering where to go. I mean, don't really want to be an angler. Builder, I don't know if that we need to do any building stuff. But mm, Assault soldier in the combat group. And we've got the books for the tactician one. And the utility one is mostly stamina. Either regen or movement speed. Okay. That's that is a good one to do then. Okay. So should I be going down like gourmet for food? Yeah. I am not taking any of the cooking stuff, so Alright, I'll go ahead and do that. Oh my goodness. Special forces. One hundred pages to 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 get that one. Wow. Nothing more. Engineering, I think we need something. Yeah, we need the polychemistry thing. And that's what gets us the wrench. It's coming up. It's on the path as we follow the main storyline. The colonel that T was talking about is the boss uh, at the military base. That'll be their first boss fight. Okay, so Ray, Radar, you're going for the the gourmet line, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll go gourmet and angler. Okay, gourmet, food researcher, cook. Okay. I am tree chopper and shooty shooter. The survivalist. Made, craft a brand new fishing rod. Oh, hey, it's a superior one that has no benefits. <laughs> yeah, when you craft stuff, there's a chance it'll be a higher quality. There's also a system where if you have five of a type of item, you can combine them to get a re-roll uh, on a hopefully higher quality one. I don't remember all the rules behind it, but it takes the coil bench, which we haven't made yet. Speaking of which, we did bring back some coil items. Two chilling coils, so getting the coil bench up wouldn't be a bad thing. Production. Coil bench. Oh no, three rebar. Say it isn't so. Okay, it's not so. All right, I'm gonna build one animal trap just to see how it works. I need to go and find another fox just to get another piece of small meat. Oh, I need two pieces of small meat because it didn't count the first five pace bait that I crafted. Hmm. 
Coil bench is up. Oh, these chilling coils are... Acquirable skills. Cold, cold resist, parry upgrade, self-healing. What can it attach to? I don't know how to use this attach option. Craft, no problem. Chilling coil plus two, huh? Hmm. Three level ones to make a level two. Uh, let's try putting a... Uh, Interesting. What the hell just happened? Oh. I found a wolf. And killed it. Uh, right? Happy hunting. You shouldn't have much problem with a wolf at this point. No, I just one hit it. Did you pick up your machetes I made for you? Uh, nope. I will grab one of next back a piece. Hey, you see the house over here by us? There's a guy standing on the roof. <laughs> yeah, it's a cop. I don't know how to use this attach option. Modify equipment section. Oh, you put whatever piece of equipment you want to attach something to in the slot, and then you can attach the gear to that. So I think only certain gear can be put into that. Coil sockets, armor, right? Uh, yeah. Probably Wep anything weapons, that's wep handmade. Weapons and tools don't have coil sockets. Looks like it's a clothing stuff. All right, I guess I'll use my uh, fancy, fancy boots. And Fun then it lists boots. a bunch of stuff. Yep, yeah. all right. Had to get the right items. I didn't have any clothing items in my free inventory. Uh, One coil socket taken up. All right, I'm going to do some more investigation on that system. All right, we need to shut things down, Radar. All right, I'll make my way back. Let me just quickly chop down this entire forest on my way back and harvest huh. all the iron and... There's no iron over there. Oh, yeah, there is. Yeah, a little bit. I haven't gone up into the foothills over there yet. Three hours remaining on our first seeds. We need to go on a hunt. Just hunt, hunt, hunt. That, or I need to get traps figured out. So is this trap fully set? I can't interact with it. I built it. I, I, I'm assuming. Was there seeds or something involved in baiting it? Oh. Yes. I don't, One small I, I don't know if those are part of the building it process or if there's a separate. I can't interact with that in right, any way. Right so. now, I'm going to assume that it's ready. So, Come on, radar. Yep. Yeah, the seeds are part. Start your seeds are part speech. of the building process, so it's ready to go. You just gotta wait. Oh, uh, there's no wrap up speech process. It's just I'm done. Go away. <laughs> hey, radar, wood box. No. 
open wood box. Grab machete. Traps will not go off with you guys being real close. Right. Mm. Next time we'll put them like down slope by the water so, or something. So my question is, is when we're not here, will that trap work? No idea. I think technically my pipe is better because it gives me more stamina. Okay. Stamina whatever. region. But, uh. All right. Bar, let's thank do you, it. though. All right, folks. We are done for the moment. Uh, we'll probably return sometime tomorrow with some more co op of uh, Night of the Dead. So. For sure. Good game. Hospital yeah. was fun. So. Big building. Um, we'll see if we can find some more stuff like that. Uh, and we might have a, another folk or two joining in. We'll see. Uh, but till then, thanks for watching.